my mic was muted the entire time. Oopsies. But uh, uh, good afternoon, all of my fellow gamers, memers, streamers, and dreamers. Welcome to the stream. It's your boy, Nikita, your host with the most but no toast. I am happy to be here for you guys on this amazing is today thursday i think today is thursday today is thursday today on this thursday afternoon deal stream uh for dragon Bogger tech and entertainment i you know you guys have gotten a, a double dose of nikita this week typically i only do mondays and tuesdays but y'all have me monday tuesday wednesday and today thursday i wonder if i'm gonna keep going anymore this week i've been covering for nate since he's still having some computer issues but you know I'm always happy to step in and be here in front of the camera for you lovely people. Uh, we've got a lot of cool products for you guys here today. Uh, everything, it's a deal stream, so everything uh, on today is on an extra special discount. So if you see anything uh, and you think you're going to like it, you it's definitely worth checking out the product page. At least I will do my best to inform you about each product. Uh, but, you know... You can always go through, go to the page and see for yourself if there's something on there that you may like or may be interested in, and you can definitely check it out. But without further ado, I'm going to jump straight into these amazing products and, um, you know, just get to it. So the first product that we have, actually the first two products I actually have on hand so I can show you guys uh, just straight up how cool they are. The first one is the JBL Clip 4, and here it is. So what's really cool about this, uh, this little speaker is that it's um ip67 waterproof uh which means that basically uh you can put it in up to a meter of water or three feet of water for about 30 minutes and not have to worry about any damage to the actual device itself it fits comfortably in the palm of my hand and what's really cool about this speaker is that because it's waterproof i use this so like i know it's a little weird but this is specifically my shower speaker because i like to have you know any number of world tours while i'm in my shower i'll be i'll sing my heart out in the shower and i love the fact that it's waterproof um and so i just i just clip it on to my little shower mount or my you know my little um what what do they call the shower caddy i hang it on that and then i'm good to go now there's there's uh five physical buttons on here so you see the three up here uh the minus the play and the plus these are for volume and then this is for um you know just playing and pausing if you double tap it it will skip the song but if you triple tap it it won't go back it will simply just pause i found that out it doesn't have a triple tap function it just has a double and a single tap function and then on the side right here as you can see there's two more physical buttons one to turn it on and one to connect to bluetooth it's super easy to get set up the quality of it is amazing i don't have any uh royalty free music and i don't want to get um like DMCA'd on stream. Uh, so I can't really do an audio quality test, but let me tell you something. This speaker absolutely packs a wallop and a punch. It has really good bass for uh, for the size of it. And for the price, like I said, it's on deal stream. This is really cool, uh, mostly because of its its utility clip. Like I said, I clip mine onto my shower caddy and I have it in the shower and I just have it blasted and going, I'm good. But you could clamp this on to like, a fanny pack a backpack and wherever you go you can blast your tunes with you and like i said it's super easy to use it has a USB C. let me see if i can get my camera to focus on it, it has a USB C port at the bottom i don't think my camera my camera doesn't want to focus camera work with me baby work with me i can't get it to focus just properly but it's a USB C charger and this thing lasts a really long time. Like I take anywhere, my showers last anywhere between 15 to 45 minutes. And I've only ever had to charge this thing like three times since I've had it. And I've had it for about seven months. So um, you get like really good quality out of it. It's really nice. It's really, um, you know, portable. This thing can fit in your pocket super easy. It's no, um, it's no thicker really than like a, a very full wallet. If I'm being, I don't, do I have my wallet here to, do like a size comparison i do not but i can do a comparison to my phone um so it's about i want to say it's about two and a half phones thick close to three um so it doesn't have any problems fitting in the pocket honestly but it's just really nice it's really simple and easy to use and i i, I honestly really enjoy it uh, i also like the fact the back has like this kind of like skid proof uh, material so if you set it on like a, a solid surface uh, you wouldn't have to worry about it sliding or anything it would grip 
uh, you know, the surface, whatever, and it would be fine. So, uh, highly recommend this really good deal right now. Currently, uh, like 38% off, definitely worth it for the sound quality and the portability of it. Fantastic speaker. Fantastic. Next up on our showcase, I have another product here. I just charged it actually. Uh, it's a really cool, this is the most zap, um, electric fly swatter. Very simple, easy to use product. So it has two modes really. One where you can hang it from this little thing and it will just be an automatic fly swatter. And then it also has a mode where you can turn it and then you know you get that actual fly swatting action. Now it has four, it has four settings on the side. I know it's kind of hard to see, uh, but it has a off, which is where it's at now, on a light and a like a little electric bolt now off obviously means off on oh sorry i went up too far on uh it's just simply a, a manual feature so if i want to swat something i have to press this button on the back it just means it's on uh so it's just like a, a manual feature then the next setting up is the light which i can't you got to be careful because you got to make sure you you click it the number um according to the space. So I've clicked it three times now. So it's on the light feature and the light feature that it has on it, it's still manual. So you still have to press the button on the back to, you know, make sure you get that electric fly swatting action, but, um, you have a cool little light. And then of course there's the automatic one, which is the last setting and you get this nice little blue light. And this is the one where I'd keep it, um, you know, turn the other way and I hang it because it's just always on. Uh, now, while I've touched it before and it didn't hurt, it does make like a popping sound um, and it scares the crap out of me when I touch it. Um, it's, you know, it's safe to touch for the most part. Like I can put my hand on it while it's on and I don't have to worry about it, but there's like a little inside like grid. There's, there's three grids. There's one on the front, one on the back, which you can touch. And then there's one in the middle where the actual like electric shock zap goes through and so uh that's what you want to avoid touching like i did I, I accidentally touched it once and it popped and the noise scared me but it didn't hurt and i didn't get like shocked or anything um so just be wary of that but like it, it works really well it has a really nice function it has lights on the side to indicate the battery charge green lights uh to tell you the level red light to let you know that um it's on and so um just a really cool overall electric zapper i really like using it um just to you know um have it hanging up like i typically keep mine in the in the upright position just have it hanging but if you wanted to like i said it has that manual mode where you can and you can you can like like you see right now like if i wiggle it like obscenely um it'll like move its orientation but if you like do it like where you actually hit something you don't have to worry about it falling out of out of its position also what's up siren welcome to the stream happy to have you here how you doing did you ever get caught up on your videos by any chance um but yeah super easy to use super simple really nice electric fly swatter love this thing i typically charge it uh turn it on hang it outside especially if i'm outside like reading a book or something it's really nice i have i've seen it zap a couple of flies i have yet to have it zap a wasp but I'm hoping that it happens soon because wasps are my natural mortal enemy. And so I'm just waiting for it to happen. But it will last outside about four four to six hours or, or so, depending. The I found out the heat really does affect it. It's really nice. It lasts a lot longer if you keep it in shade as opposed to out in the direct sun. Uh, but just a really awesome fly swatter. And I think it's really cool. And it's definitely worth picking up. I recorded and finished one over a hundred. Hey, that's progress. That's progress. That's all we care about. Um, before I get into this next product though, uh, let me just say guys, hydrate or dehydrate everyone. Make sure that every Dragon Blogger Tech Entertainment live stream hosted by your boy Nikita, you keep your water bottles with you because we got to stay hydrated. 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 See, obviously I need some water because my lips is dry and I can't even say words properly. And then also, one more thing before I go into the next product too. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Uh, we currently have a big dog giveaway going on right now for an awesome Gigabyte GD G5 gaming laptop or $800 on PayPal. And you enter for a chance to win that by going to www.dragonblogger.com slash win gaming laptop. Do not forget to enter for a chance to win that. 
Um, you get a chance to, you know, like get an awesome laptop or $800, you know, I'd be fine with either too bad. I can't answer them cause I'm a dragon blogger myself, but it's super easy. Um, you know, uh, go on. And I think it is just you siren. Cause I normally keep a second copy of my stream up through the Amazon page and it's looking clear to me. I haven't seen it jump yet. So I think it might be your connection, ma'am. Um, but yeah, enter for a chance to win that. Also, if you are watching and you are not following, be sure to hit that follow button to stay up to date to all of our Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live streams. Look, James is in the chat right now. He's another one of our awesome Dragon Bloggers. Uh, so if you if you want to see some cool Dragon Blogger content, see some really cool products and stuff, um, definitely follow so you can stay up to date uh, on all of our different dra Dragon Bloggers. Currently, our team consists of me, James, Justin, Nate, Deer and aster so we got six regular dragon bloggers so you know we're all we all cover the spectrum on different different types of streamers um i'm the funniest obviously and james is the most beautiful so we're the we're the best ones so you should follow us specifically <laughs> oh man but without further ado gonna go ahead and jump into uh the ufes 11 which is a really awesome uh vacuum test or vacuum test which is a really awesome stick vacuum that Justin tests on his hard floors and carpet. And uh, you got to love his dog, Pumpkin, man. Pumpkin will not let a vacuum exist in that household. Anytime Justin has anything pushing on the ground, Pumpkin's going to be right after it. I'm here showcasing my Eufy stick back, which I've been using quite often on both hard floors and carpeting, but it is of course hard to vacuum with my dog constantly trying to attack it while I vacuum. Okay. But it's good for picking up debris or dirt that the dragon from outside. It rolls over the hard floor well. It has multiple settings for speed and intensity. I really like the light on it so I can just move right from my kitchen to my dark hallway and spot everything <laughs> that I need to pick up with the vacuum with the front flashlight on it, which works really well. And then we'll go ahead and finish cleaning up my hard floor a little bit with the stick back. It has excellent sucking power. You can see the cyclone effect pulls the dust into the bin. All you need to do is dump the bin. Now, when vacuuming carpets, I set the UFI stick vacuum to high mode so that it has higher intensity and more power to pick up the dirt and debris that's in carpeting. I generally see you can see, like pumpkin. Pumpkin is like every vacuum is public enemy number one. Kiwi just be chilling. Use the low for hard floors. I really like the way the stick vacuum has a very flexible head and you can see when I get to the corners here, give me a second, I'll show you how I can bend the corners. Stop attacking it, pumpkin. So my, this is what I deal with every time I vacuum with my dog. So look how you can do the corners and how flexible the head is. You could bend it at a 90 degree angle so you can trace the corner. So as you can see, outside of vicious puppies attacking it, it's an actually really awesome stick vacuum. Uh, this is the S11 Infinity. It's really good for hitting those really hard corners or reaching around table legs, chair legs, whatever it may be. It's really smooth. It works really great on hard surfaces and carpets. And it also has that very convenient light. And like I said, it's a deal stream. So everything is on deal currently. This is 33% off. So if you're looking for a really awesome stick vacuum, Eufy or Anchor, whichever, whichever moniker, you want to give it they do an amazing job at all the products that they make i i am sp uh, particularly uh fond of eufy i love their products everything and you know so i know when i see the eufy name that the product is going to be absolutely fantastic and this is on deal so it's definitely worth checking out now moving on to the next product we have a really cool torres case that i got to cover i don't use this case anymore um every time i see it's funny i get a lot of iphone cases and the way that i am every time i get an iphone case i just move on to the next one and i just keep every time i get a new one swap it out every time I get a new one swap it out but I like the fact that I have a bunch of different cases because I can always have a ton of variety and Torres cases provide a lot of variety too they have really awesome slim cases this one is going to be a shockproof opaque kind of you know grayish um well it's not really opaque it's more like translucent because you can see the logo underneath uh but it's a really nice shockproof case that I enjoy super easy to slip on super easy to use and it's just fantastic for what it does for your phone Hey yo, so I have uh, my base iPhone 13 here and a nice little Torres case that I'm going to be unboxing and trying. I really like their case design for just their packaging. It just looks really nice. It has that like cool kind of finish. If you shine in the light a certain way, it has like a little, um, you know, like a little rainbow glare. So I, I'm going to skip just a little bit. BRB buddy grabbing some food. Thanks, James. You're sharing, right? Like you're, you're grabbing food for me? Like 
Oh, oh, you meant for yourself. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just I see. Color. Um, <laughs> you could, or you could just have these as backups if these start to mess up on you, and they're really easy to install. It looks like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open one of these. You just bend it and break it. Um, really easy. I'll go ahead and get some of these out. Peel that. I guess you have to like tear it again. There you go. Okay, so as you can see, yeah, these come out pretty easily. Um, they're just packaged. So what these are, these are little buttons that you can switch out. Now the case comes with standard black ones, but if you don't like black ones, you can switch out the black ones with the yellow ones or the red ones. I was using the yellow ones. Uh, they fit really nicely. Uh, it's super easy to switch out. And you know, you even, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, when you switch them out, you can always keep them and you can always switch them back, whatever you want. You got three different color combinations, black, yellow, or red. It's pretty, it's it's not like too thick, but it's thick enough to know where if you drop your phone, um, you'd be pretty protected. Uh, this little ridge on the back kind of comes up too, as well as it comes up on this side and then the ridge comes up for your camera, so. Now, what I really love most about that case is the fact that Torres did a really good job at including the extra protection for your camera. Uh, this case has one of the largest bumpers for the camera that I've had to date. And that's just something uh, that I really appreciated because this was before I had a uh, protector. Because currently I have like an actual protector for my iPhone and this was before I had the glass protector for it. Sorry, there's something in my eye. Um, but this was before I had the protector. And so just having that extra length uh, to have uh, on the bumper for it was super convenient and it made me feel a lot safer. Uh, but what's also cool about Torres cases of uh, specifically this Torres case is that they left plenty of extra room, uh, for the mute buttons and for the speaker and microphone at the bottom and for the charging port. This was another case. Cause you know, every time I do a case, I always say how my case has to have um, extra space for third party chargers. And this one definitely had an extra space. Let's see, you can have half of my Tillamook pepperoni. Ooh, that sounds good. I haven't had a pepperoni stick in a while. You got me wanting some pepperoni sticks or, or, or some, um, a slim, you know, pepperoni sticks and slim gyms used to be my go to every day after high school. I love those things. But yeah, really amazing Torres case. Absolutely fantastic and definitely worth picking up. The next product that we have on the carousel for today is a really awesome product that Justin covered. It's the Feflo Umbrella. Um, and we're going to get to see it out in its full blue glory. I love blue stuff. I'm here showcasing the Feflo Beach Umbrella. And so. Now, what's really cool about this umbrella, and I'm going to skip right to it, is if you look at the, he's, and he's going to talk about it too, if you look at the end of the actual stick for the umbrella, it has like a, a kind of corkscrew uh, deal, and it's really good for making sure that it gets into the ground or the sand, wherever you may put it, and locking it into place and making sure you don't have to worry about it tipping over, falling over, or coming out of the water, or out of the, the out of the ground. Beach sand just fine, but I'm going to use a pole holder in my yard just to show you how it looks in the yard. So in my case, I'm What's up, Jeff? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here, buddy. I'm putting it into an umbrella stand. I'm not screwing it actually into the ground here. There are multiple ways you can insert the umbrella into the stand. You have a little latch in there that can be used to control and not let it slide in so much, or you can let it slide in lower. Say you want to lay down on the beach, then you can actually have the umbrella come down a lot lower so that it blocks the sunlight from getting on you. So here is the highest level setting you can get in, but I'm going to lower it just to show you how you can lower it if you want it to be lower for you say you're sitting or laying on the sand instead of actually standing up or sitting in a chair. So you use this little clamp here. This clamp will lock it into place at the height that you want it to be at. So let's do that here. Completely rotatable while it's not locked. I really like that, how easy it is to rotate. Choosing a height here that I want to stick with. And then I'm going to go ahead and clamp it in place. I'm going to clamp it in place right there. I have it a little low on purpose, just so it's easier to show on camera with the height of the tripod. So here's how it looks. Casts a wide diameter with the umbrella. Provides a lot of shading. If you put the pole through the hole here, right, like this, this allows you to lock it to where it doesn't go in so far and it stays at a much higher height. So here's the highest height that it can be at. So, so as you guys can see, it's a really easy, really nice adjustable umbrella. Like Justin said, he used a pole holder for it. Um, and so uh, that's why he, he used it in his yard. But like I said, the end of it has a corkscrew feature so that when you go and take it to like the beach, you can go ahead and slam it into the ground, go ahead and twist it in. And, and you know for a fact that it's going to be locked there, locked in place and able to be used. And it's just really cool that it has all those different adjustable features from the height to the angle. So you can make sure that you are most appropriately blocking this, 
blocking the sunlight to make sure that you are protected from some of those harmful UV rays, especially if you're not wearing any sunscreen or anything. Now I am so I haven't I have yet to see this next product, but I'm super excited about it because the thumbnail makes me laugh. I swear, out of all the out of all the dragon bloggers, just or Justin uh, like makes sure I feel like he makes sure that he picks the funniest thumbnails for James because James's thumbnails always make me laugh. Is uh, you guys should have you should have been here yesterday for the uh, pay me like one of your French girls thumbnail. That one was a one fantastic. But, uh, <laughs> oh man, uh, but this next one is going to be James, uh, showcasing the iBase, uh, iBase Toy Kids Toolbox set, which is a, I believe it's a 32 piece kit, uh, and it's just, it just, I, I want you guys to see it, look at, look, it, it's, it's Bane. He's he's just cartoon Bane. He's got his nice little mask on, his little breather. Seven minute it's a seven minute toy video. James, 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 we're taking oh, a quick boy. look at the new and, and and it's a quick look too. <laughs> oh, guys, this is from iBase Toys. This is a kids tool set. Now this is a 32 piece uh pretend play construction set, guys, which is kind of cool. Ages three and up, or you know, if the little kids can play this, really. I mean, just to make sure the smaller pieces are out of their reach. Now, this does have a belt, uh, your belt tool belt, guys. The belt tool belt will actually fit anywhere from 19 inch round to 29 inches, so you're good to there. Has a toolbox, guys. It has an electric toy drill. It has an actual caliper. It has some nails, some drill bits. It has some screws. It has some whole wood blocks pre-drilled. Uh, pre has some hex nuts. It has some hex screws. So it has a little bit of everything. I'm gonna skip through because I want to see James with these goggles on. So we're gonna skip through and see some some of the different uh, tools that he shows. So I'm gonna make a mask. I'm gonna pop that down until the clock's down. So we have a little toolbox. Actually, quite cool. I like this guy. Can it fit you though, James? Like I'm pretty sure it can fit you with some room to spare, right? <laughs> guys, that's cool. It even has a little Velcro strap so they can put some stuff in there, hide it around. <laughs> My neck, maybe. <laughs> You have your screwdriver's holes, your hammer hole. Then you got this nice little belt loop, guys. The belt loop is cool, and it does expand or shrink if you need to. So really awesome belt to where you can, you know, your child or whoever's using the toy kits, maybe you're a man child, you can make sure that you fit all your tools, other accessories in there that come with the tool kit. So that's some, something really cool about it. Oh, here we go. Here's the goggles. Hold on, let me go just a little bit. There we go. Let's put it on my head. I'm the big kid now, right? <laughs> James the Builder. Can he fix it? James the Builder. No, he can't. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm ready to build. But cool. It actually has elastic. Uh, oh, man, James. You're hilarious. I love you, man. <laughs> elastic band around the goggles, guys. Nice little goggles. They are definitely... Uh, <laughs> a little uh, film cover colored. That's absolutely fantastic. Let's skip ahead and see what else we got. Just like that, we're in. Then you have your drill bits, guys. You have the masonry bit that just square in, guys. Just slides right in the front, just like that. Then if you have, re you actually have a reverse and forward, so it does move. You also have your flathead screwdriver. Then you have your Phillips head bit. That's cool to have it now. Hey, that's, you know, it's so funny that you say that it's always, it's always the kids toys that I, I, I get when I, when I'm reviewing and I always think, wow, this is going to be kind of lame. Like, why do I, why would I want a kid's toy? And then I start recording the video and I'm like, this is kind of fun. Kids have it made, man. Like when I did that bubble gun video, that was so fun. That was actually so fun. Uh, but <laughs> uh, in the in the sake of time, I'm gonna stop right there. But James did a really amazing job at showcasing uh, these these fun little toys uh, for little kids. Uh, absolutely amazing set by iBase Toy. They do they and you know what? In fact, iBase Toy is the one who did the bubble gun that I was talking about. So like they have a bunch of different kids stuff that are just absolutely amazing and fantastic for your kids kids of all ages. I promise you, you can go through and find something to have fun for your kids. But this is specifically on sale today because it is a, de uh, a, a deal stream. And yes, well made. The, I, I know for a fact that the, the, the bubble gun that I have is very high quality. And this is something that's very high quality also. Uh, before I go ahead and get into the next uh, product, which is a really cool 3D printer. 
Let me just go ahead and drop this link in the chat here for you guys who are just now tuning in. Uh, there is currently a giveaway going on for a chance to win the Gigabyte GDG5 gaming laptop or $800 on PayPal by simply going to the link www.dragonblogger.com slash win gaming laptop. Super easy to go ahead and enter through Gleam. Um, also, if you're not following, uh, please, please, please press that follow button to stay up to date for all of our Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live shows. I am your host with the most but toast, Nikita. Always happy to be here for you. Uh, typically, my days are Monday through Tuesday. Uh, James uh, is in the chat also. He is another one of our Dragon Blogger streamers. Uh, so always happy to be here for you. Make sure you hit that follow button so you can stay up to date. Because we do all sorts of giveaways, we have all sorts of fun on these streams. Um, and we truly do love our community uh, because you guys make this all worth it. You know, you guys are the reason why we show up and stream because we want to show you guys some really cool products and that's what we have here on stream is just really cool products. Merle does an amazing job at showing off this awesome 3D printer though. This is the Anycubic Viper. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up this video and we're going to see part of the unboxing and setup for it. Today we have the Anycubic Viper. So I'm going to just a little bit. All right. And this comes up. And here we have the bow. So this is actually the base of it. And what, what I really like about the way that this packaging is, you know that your product is going to be super safe because it has all that nice styrofoam that's layered and around it and no piece is exposed from the boxing so that you know you're going to get protection. Also, what's up, Evans? Welcome to the stream. Are you feeling, uh, how are you feeling now, man? I know last time you checked in, you were feeling a little bit better, but how are you feeling now? You know, I, every time you come by, I got to check on you. Oh, could be on it. I'm 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 Nikita and the N stands for nurse, so I gotta ask you all these questions. This is gonna be my I'm so glad you're doing better though. Welcome to the stream, man. X Y axis, I think. Alright, so right. I can't wait till I get a 3D printer. I'm super excited for one. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip to where it's fully set up. And then only then should you start the unloading process, which I'm going to get started here in just a few seconds. The first so it look, here's a good view of the entire thing. It doesn't it doesn't take up much space, and it's really awesome. Now, what's really cool about the um, the Anycubic Viper is that it has really nice um, uh, upgrade to its auto leveling features. Um, it has a silent main board and a removable magnetic platform um it has accurate and silent printing pei spring steel magnetic platform um and it just has a fast assembly so that when you get your product you can just start 3d printing absolutely immediately first i let's see if he actually does he do any actual 3d printing? try to take it through an auto level probably the pro Oh, so he's going to start the auto level here. Will start. Please confirm to continue. Okay, so bed's cleared. And let's make sure this works. Is it, is it moving? I can't tell. It's auto leveling. Oh. So it should be heating up. Both the bed. Oh, okay. And okay, the head. I see. That's about it. <laughs> I love as soon as you said that the video ended. But as you can see, uh, really nice, easy to set up any cubic Viper 3D printer. Uh, of course, everything currently is on deals uh, today because it is a deal stream. Now, once you get your 3D printer, you're probably going to want to 3D print something, right? I mean, that's what I would do if I had a 3D printer. If, if, if Jessica gave me or asked me if I wanted to review a 3D printer, I'd say yes. If he asked, I'd say yes. If he, if he had one, I'd do it. But uh, you're probably going to want to print something. So you're probably going to want some 3D filament, right? Well, Duramic makes an awesome 3D filament. And in fact, uh, we did a giveaway not too long ago for a... Um a 3D printer, and it came with uh, a Duramic two-pack of 3D filament. And so Nate's gonna do an awesome job of showing us this really nice Duramic 3D matte black uh, filament um, on his uh, Creality Ender 3. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that video up too. 
Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment and today I am super excited to showcase to you this matte black PLA filament from Duramic 3D. I'm still pretty new to 3D printing but I've definitely been wanting to try out some black filament and it's going to be even cooler being that this is matte black. So let's go ahead and jump in and test this stuff out and see how a print comes out. So you can see here that Duramic 3D went with a cardboard filament reel which is a nice sustainable feature and you're also on the front going to have your nozzle temperature which they recommend 205 plus or minus 15 degrees, a bed temp of 25 to 60 degrees, and a printing speed of 40 to 80 millimeters a second. And this is a one kilogram reel, so this isn't like a half reel or anything like that. You're going to get your full amount of filament, the average amount of filament, so it should definitely last you quite a while. And we are going to be printing on my Ender 3 Max. This is a printer I've had for a while, so it's nicely tuned and leveled and ready for this print. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start by loading this up onto my filament holder. We're going to clip this at a 45 degree angle so it can go through the tube and the extruder a little bit easier. So we'll go ahead and fill that in all the way to the end of the hot end. And we'll go ahead and push that through. And as you can see, it is extruding my old filament that I had in there. And we're just going to wait for that to turn completely black. And after we do that, we'll just go ahead and pull this out and we're good to go. Now this is what I'm doing. I am cleaning with 91% isopropyl alcohol. That's to get any of the oils from touching it or anything else, any debris off. I had a lot of troubles. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip a little bit to when he actually starts printing with it. Oh, here we go, perfect. And here is the final product. And guys, I have to say it honestly came out super, super detailed and super well. I really like the way the matte black looks. It is a little bit shinier than I pictured it would be. That's not really an issue. It's just a little bit shinier than I expected a matte black to be. So now I kind of want to try a non-matte black, especially from Dynamic 3D to see if it's way shinier than even this. We're going to go ahead and zoom in here just to get a little bit more of a peek at what this filament can do and as you can see here on standard 0.2 millimeter quality this thing came out absolutely amazing that little hiccup on top that's just a model error i've every filament that i've printed this with it has that little issue as you can see here on the bottom we had a little bit of sky so really good 3d filament as you can see it, it did an amazing job printing on that little i think that's a charmander it looks like a charmander it did a really good job now the only comment that he made on it was even though it was it was marketed as matte black uh it did come out a little bit more shiny than he was expecting but still it looked absolutely amazing on the finish and it was a really high quality print uh besides the the small error with the actual um you know like the the printing template that he used but just absolutely fantastic 3d filament filament a great pickup for if you do want to pick up some really nice filament to go with your new 3d printer maybe you have a 3d printer that you want to try out some new filament definitely check out Duramics. now nate also does it nate nate is really cool uh, with all the products that he does but he not only does a 3d printer but he does a really nice laser engraver too uh this is his Offero laser engraver and i think this is the one that he does the really nice design of like the dragonfly on and let me tell you something when i saw this i think this is the dragonfly one but he did an absolutely amazing design and the attention to detail is just super high quality yo what is going on guys Nathaniel with yes this is the one so i'm gonna go right to the actual printing start part. of a brand new engraving i guess you could say um so what i did is i basically wanted to choose something that had a lot of detail just to kind of test this out now i am not a professional in any sense but as you guys can see right here it's chugging along really well I love how it looks. It's like a little mini rave party. Any unsers in the chat? You know? Well, high powered laser. You obviously don't want to look at this directly, but since this is over just a camera, you guys should be fine to just look at this laser. This thing is actually super awesome. And so here are the results. I chose this little. Just look at the detail quality on this thing. Not only like the wings, but the pattern itself, how intricate it is. Now, uh, Nate said, and I know for a fact, he was telling me about this. He said once he did a couple of more prints with it, he was able to get it a lot, you know, like a lot more refined. Um, and this was just like a test print that he did. So that just goes to show you that once you get the settings, once you're, um, you know, kind of experienced at laser engraving, you can get a really high quality, really nice image. That looked absolutely fantastic. He 
Uh, Nate is just really critical on his own work. And when he was like, yo, I could do that, that, that one's actually bad. I could do so much better now. And I'm like, wow, I thought that was amazing. If you can do better, that's just fantastic. But, you know, it is something that's going to be, um, you know, you got to tweak with your settings a little bit. But out the box and out the gate, it just did an amazing, uh, nice laser engraving. And so if you're looking for a really fantastic laser engraver that's on sale, definitely check out that Alfaro one. Now we're moving on to our next product here, and I believe this one is, a, oh, yep, we got a James here product. He's going to be showing us uh, some showcasing of his Nintendo Switch on the Wiimax Vogue home cinema, ah, home cinema projector. So if you have any questions to ask uh, about this product, James is, I believe James is still in the chat, so feel free to ask any questions in the chat, and I'm sure he would be happy to answer James here with a quick showcase of the Wii Max Vogue 100 movie projector. Today we're going to play, be playing the Nintendo Switch on this, guys. I already have it plugged in. As you can see, we have all the HDMI ports plus the USB ports. If you see the one in the middle, it does say H Nintendo Switch already. So we click that, we enter the Nintendo Switch is on. We're going to click my name. We're going to load Zelda Breath of the Wild. So we're going to play some Nintendo, Nintendo Switch on this. Kind of show you guys this. We're actually going to have some sound, so we're going to turn the sound on. Not going to go super crazy with the sound, but we're going to give you some sound, right? Let's click continue. Just look at how beautiful that looks. So I'm going to skip to where we actually get into some actual gameplay. Just look at that. You know, if I didn't know that I was looking at a, um, a actual projector, I would think that at this, like, I would, I, because of how dark it is on the sides, I would think that this was a, like, an actual monitor or something. I did not want to fall down, but since we're down here, whatever. Oh, man, our boat broke. So yeah, you can just see oh, how sucks. how vibrant those colors <laughs> it broke. Yeah, <laughs> so you can see how vibrant those colors are. Now Wemax does an amazing job um, at all of their projectors. Uh, this one's more of a big boy one. Uh, this it's fantastic though, and it, it, you get a big chunk off right now. You get like forty percent off, but it's really cool. Um, it's a 1600 lumen projector with HDR 10. It's a smart projector, uh, with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So like when you use it, you have, uh, I believe you have certain, um, streaming apps that you can just stream straight from it to, I believe. Yeah. You can stream whatever entertainment with apps like Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, whatever you may want. Um, it's absolutely amazing, uh, sound from it too. It's a room filling sound with two 10 watt speakers already built in true to life colors and just an amazing 1080p high quality. Uh, you can do 1080p at, um, at 60 hertz you can do 4k at 60 hertz and you can do 8k at 40 hertz too so you just have so many options from this awesome Wemax projector and they do an amazing job it those those colors look so bright and vibrant on the um on the uh the the screen that that james was displaying on so it was just very fantastic and, and you could tell that um you know the quality that you get is just going to be of the highest quality and you know it just cannot be beat now next up we got a more a more budget friendly option for another we uh projector this is the this is the we max dice uh, this is different. The other one was the Vogue. This one's the Dice. Nate covers this one, and he's going to, again, show you the amazing high quality uh, of, that WeMax just gives you in all of their projectors. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, we're What's up, Vicky? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. How you doing? We're going to be taking a look at this awesome projector from WeMax, and this is the Dice. This thing is full HD. Also, Lisa C., thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment family. And it is designed with quality and portability in mind. As you can see here, we have this little carrying handle to carry it around because this can run off of its high-capacity battery. This is a full 1080p projector, and this thing honestly does look so, so, so good. But not only does this thing look good, if you look on the sides here, you guys are going to notice that you have this little grid pattern. And this is for the... 
Oh, well, I'm happy to be here. Uh, yeah, I've, I've streamed a lot this week. I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and today. So I've, I have four stream days this week. Maybe I'll get five or six. We never know. I've been covering for Nate. He's been still having some computer issues. So, um, hopefully to, he, he gets his issues fixed soon. Cause I do miss seeing my buddy, you know, but, uh, I'm always happy to take over, you know, if he can't make it or if any other dragon blogger can't make it. Also, hello, Lisa. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? True Dolby audio that's going to come out of this. So it sounds great as well taking a look at the top here the controls are very simple you're going to have a power button and you're going to have a smart feature button that's right here on the right and oh yeah one thing i didn't mention this is an android 9.0 so this is going to have all of the android 9.0 or android 9.0 tv apps built in so you're never going to run out of features or apps that you can download on this you're going to be covered let's I'm doing awesome, actually. Thank you so much for asking. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I've had a I've had a great day today. The weekend's coming soon. I don't know if, if for those of you who don't know, and I'll show y'all after, but like I'm a big Star Wars collector. I, I don't know if you can kind of see. There's some lightsabers over there in the corner, and then I have my lightsaber wall. But I'm picking up uh, three new lightsabers this week, and so I'm excited because uh, I, I I have a I, I honestly it's a problem. It's a real problem, and I probably need to go to therapy for how many lightsabers that I have. But you know, it's it it's there are worse addictions to have than being addicted to buying lightsabers. So I, I'd like to think that I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> Let's go ahead and test this thing out. And as you guys can see right here, we do have the Wemax dice hooked up to a tripod and powered on. We are running off of AC power just for a little bit more brightness. And when you first turn on this projector, you're going to notice that you have all of your apps right here. One of the Yes, we do. Yes, we do. <laughs> See, someone who understands me, you know? I appreciate that, Lisa. <laughs> and the Play Store. And gamers, you guys would absolutely love this thing. Here's a throwback video of me and Mr. Dragon Blogger playing some Overwatch back in the day in our gaming prime, I guess you could say. So this is definitely going to be really great for gaming. It does have a decent refresh rate. Obviously, the screen that you have is going to make a difference. And then taking a look right here, this is just... Just look at how nice those darks look and how the contrast is. It's absolutely fantastic. Some stock footage, as you guys can see here. This camera does not do it any justice. This thing looks absolutely beautiful in a dark. And that's another thing. Like like he's saying, the camera doesn't do it justice. And the disclaimer that I try to give with all products that we do here uh, on, on our streams for Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment is that if we do anything that shows you audio or video, just understand that what you may hear, what you may see is not a true reflection of the quality because it's a second and or third hand sometimes uh, recording of, of what we're seeing, uh, especially since like I'm... I'm not even watching, or you're not even seeing the direct video. You're seeing a stream of the video, and I'm watching a video of the actual product, but only the Dragon Blogger in the video is having that firsthand experience. So it's very, very, very important to listen to what the Dragon Blogger is saying about the specific product. And I know for a fact that... Um, Nate loves this printer and Wemax does an amazing job at all the products that they that they send us and all the products that they make. So you can you can be 100% uh certain that the quality that you're going to get is absolutely fantastic and just completely unmatched. Oh, your husband got a affiliate on Twitch? Tell him congratulations. I remember when I first got affiliate, it was so exciting. Um, I, I love I love being affiliate. Uh, sometimes those affiliate checks be coming in in kind of clutch. Uh, I typically get one uh, every month and a half or so, and you know they 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 cover a bill or two, and you know I'm absolutely okay with that. So tell him congratulations, and I'm excited for him. I hope his journey uh, of streaming on Twitch is fantastic and fun. Um. Before I get into this next product, just one more uh, one more thing. Uh, don't forget that we currently have a giveaway going on for a chance to win a Gigabyte GD G5 gaming laptop or $800 on PayPal if you're international. Uh, and you simply enter for a chance to win that by going to www.dragonblogger.com slash win gaming laptop. That's just straight up one word. Uh, and don't forget that if you are watching and you can hear the sound of my voice and you are not currently following Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, Please mash that follow button and stay up to date with all of our Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live streams. Currently, I am your host with the most but no toast, Nikita. It's your boy. Uh, welcome to the stream, everyone. Uh, so happy to have all of y'all here. And I really do hope you consider pressing that follow button to come join our big happy family because we really do truly care about 
our, our little community that we have here. You know, um, we love to talk to you guys. We love to show you guys cool products. And it's always happy to get to ingratiate uh, someone new uh, into our family. Um, but this next product is going to be really cool. It's another James here product. He's going to be covering the Anchor Soundcore 2 and just showing us what kind of an amazing Bluetooth speaker this is. Now, again, uh, same disclaimer as with the projectors. Uh, this is a secondhand recording of the actual audio, so you won't get a true sound uh, from it. Like You won't get a true, you know idea of what it sounds like you get somewhat of an idea but not not the real you know firsthand experience uh so make sure you pay attention to what james lets you know about the audio quality because he is one of our resident audiophiles uh really good when it comes to music and eqs and all that kind of stuff so he will give you his best assessment of this awesome anchor speaker James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new product guys this is from anchor this is their sound core 2 now this does have 12 watts of power and 24 hours of play time it does have their uh, Soundcore app to connect to, guys, which is very cool. And it does do stereo pairing, which is actually another cool thing that you can do. Now, a couple other things is this is IPX7 waterproof. It does have their base up, and it is Bluetooth 5.0, guys, which is really great. So since it is waterproof, guys, don't worry about it. It also comes in multiple of colors. Let's pop this open and give you guys your first look at this, of course. We can actually get the box open. I believe the first thing grab well, just a little nice bit ahead. speaker, I, of course. On the side here is a little rubber plug. You guys pull that rubber plug. It's nice and thick. And it actually has a 3.5 millimeter jack for auxiliary. And then your power plug. And you put that back on and you make sure it's nice and sealed. On top, you have your power. Make sure uh, that you have that seal because otherwise you will miss out on some of that waterproof protection. Let me tell you, you don't want to leave that open if this thing is going to be exposed to any kind of moisture because those ports are unprotected if you don't have that little plastic seal closed. Tooth, volume and play and pause. So we're going to... So we're going to skip just to where he's doing an actual... Oh, that's another thing. It has an app to um, Anchor and Eufy and, you know, whatever. They they always have um, apps to go with their devices for the most part. And so it's going to be really important if you want to get those sound settings just absolutely right with changing the EQs around and stuff. So it's going to be really important for you to pick that up. But I want to get into the part where he actually shows the sound quality so you can guys can kind of hear uh, about what you'd be getting with the speaker. Which is not a problem, right? Let's get ready and go higher. Now we can pause it right here. So I really don't know what kind of uh, media you guys are using to listen to the stream, but as you can see, I have on a really nice Dolby 7.1 surround headset. These are... Um, these are my um, my Steel Series uh, Arctis Sevens, and uh, they have really good bass. And when I was listening to that, the bass like was the the sound from his video. The bass was registering on my headset, so that should give you an idea of how good the bass and the sound from that speaker is. Because I could hear the bass from my own headset, and and hearing that second it being it being a recording and not an actual audio file playing with the actual bass track, that should give you an idea of how deep and and you know vibrant the sound coming from this speaker is going to be now james also does a couple of lemmy call products that we're going to be pulling up next uh the first one being a phone holder and also this stream is sponsored by lemmy call so shout out lemmy call they do some amazing really cool um phone holders uh bike mount all kinds of like accessories uh for stuff that you may have in your house or your office so it's definitely worth checking out not only these products that we're going to be showing you but going to the product page and checking out the lemmy call storefront so you can see if they have um some different products that you may be interested in but this first product that did you see my questions oh i actually didn't hold on my bad i my apologies let's see uh he was so over the moon excited he has a sponsor too and he got eight subscriptions uh uh, in the first few minutes is that good or amazing oh i mean that's absolutely amazing it took me a long time uh to get my first couple of subscriptions on twitch um so getting eight in the first couple of minutes is absolutely fantastic i i think like right now i currently have about 
74 subs or something like that so like even though i don't stream as regularly on twitch as i used to i still um have some pretty loyal subscribers so it really helps to have those people that are always going to be there to support you so i i'm absolutely so proud of him james here with a quick unboxing showcase of a new product guys this is from lammy call this is their dpo3 phone stand now this is kind of a cool stand we're going to pull it open we're going to kind of show you guys this as we go right so first you have the user manual if you guys need that it is there then you have the actual phone holder with the tripod in section that can actually move up and down on the pole to where you need it move up and down on the pole james this isn't a strip club come on then you open it up and you will have the base and on the bottom of this you'll have a pole now to connect this up just really literally you know grab the right side make sure you're on the channels there are channels so make sure you're on the channels and i'll kind of bring this over to you as you hopefully you guys can see there's some channels in there there's some channel grooves on here so pretty much you just line them up right push it in you're good to go so it will sit like that you guys can move it up and down if you guys really need to there is a button that'll help move it better angle adjustment all that good stuff now down here is a nice with a hole right here this is so you can put your charging cable through to keep your phone charged while using it nice device holds it well you know i'm holding the a samsung s22 with the case in here there is still plenty of uh room there's a nice non-slip uh, grip there plus inside here there's some nice non-slip grip right there very cool actually really cool uh so as you can see, a really awesome, nice little phone stand to have. Uh, Lammy Call does an amazing job at, at all sorts of, like I said, all sorts of accessories and stuff that they have on their actual, um, on their on their page. You can go and check and see the different stuff that they have. But this was just an absolutely amazing cell phone stand that's really nice to pick up right now if you're looking for it. Now they also have another product that James covered, uh, which is a bike phone mount. Uh, and so, uh, he's going to be demonstrating how easy it is to work and set up. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that one. Bruh, no. What are you saying no to Mr. Albert? James here with a quick walkthrough of how to use your Lamy Call BM-02 bike phone mount. As you guys see, we have it here. We've already done an unboxing book. We're going to actually show you guys how to use it. And the best way to do this is actually use this camera mount pole. So that is my best way to kind of show you guys how to use this. Of course, you guys have the bracket itself for the user or for the home phone. Then you have inside here is actually. So I think it's so funny that James, instead of actually using a, uh, a, like a bike handle, he has to use like a phone <laughs> or a, not a phone, a camera mount. I think that's so funny, but Hey, that's a very inventive way to use it. So I'm not, I'm not complaining at all. Actually the mount. Now I'm going to pull this mount out. I'm going to come a little closer and show you guys this. As you guys see, there's a bunch of rubber in here. We will actually pull this off and open this completely up right so you're going to unscrew this completely just so you can get it open far enough now if you were on a motorcycle or a bicycle you may not have to do all this but you may still have to pull it off like that so you're going to then grab out enough of the rubber to make it mountable around so that's, that's going to be one of the most important features of it is that you're going to have to grab out that, um, you know, make, make sure you adjust the rubber that's on the inside to whatever thickness of the pole is, because it's going to have to hold it to make sure that it's absolutely, uh, you know, gripped on to the actual pole. This. So, skip. And then so this is just him tightening it on. And then now he's actually going to put the phone on the clamp. Once that's done, guys, hit the back button, which will allow this to open up, right? So now that we're opened, we can actually put a phone in here, pop it in, set it in, latch it in place. 
power it on so you guys can see the screen. So just like that, that's how you'll mount that. Just do the same process on a uh, motorcycle, bicycle, whatever you guys want. Just remember, these rubber pieces come in handy, so make sure you got the right amount in there, and you're good to go. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me, one second, before I, uh, before I answer your question, Lisa. So as you can see, just really awesome bike mount, um, uh, bike phone holder to have, whether it's on your bike or your motorcycle or in James case is on his, uh, his camera stand to use. And so, uh, just really easy to adjust and set to whatever settings you may need, whatever thickness of the pole that you're putting the phone on. It's just going to be absolutely easy to use and super fantastic. And since Lisa, since you asked, uh, I'm going to go ahead and repost. Uh, so to enter for a chance to, to, to enter the giveaway, um, you simply go to, um, dragonblogger.com slash win gaming laptop you can copy and paste the link in the chat or you can manually enter it in and it's for a chance to win a gigabyte gd5 gaming laptop or 800 dollars on paypal and uh, all you have to do is go on that page find the gleam enter you need to enter uh, through the gleam app that's going to be on the page and there are different methods for how to actually enter. Um, are you doing a live giveaway this stream too? I don't think so. Uh, Justin didn't tell me about one. And typically, um, whenever I've done cover streams, because this is a cover stream for Nate, there haven't been giveaways. Uh, so I'm not, I'm, I don't think that there's going to be a giveaway. Um, sadly, my apologies to you, Vicky. And no problem, Lisa. If you guys ever have any questions about the giveaways or any questions about a product, feel free to ask. I will always do my best to try to answer them for you. Uh, if I cannot, you know, I'm always, you know, I'm going to try. And if I can't answer you immediately, I'm going to find out for you. So uh, always feel free to ask questions if you have any questions. But if you are not following, uh, you can hear the sound of my voice. Please, please, please press that follow button and stay up to date with all of our Dragon Ball tech and entertainment live shows i'm your host with the most but no toast nikita and always happy to be in front of you streaming so the next product that we have here uh is for it's our last lamicall product uh it's going to be a five uh pack uh cable spring holder um and so i'm going to actually uh, i don't have the amazon this um, is their the Amazon video for this. I have a uh, B-roll that James sent me. So we're going to actually see some straight up high quality footage. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over uh, so we can watch that. And I can play it from my media player. This is their actual CMO2 cable clamp system. This is a single style cable cord for your desk or walls, wherever you really wanna organize cabling. The cool part is, is this is a five piece kit. I'm gonna slide this out. Now, it does come with the little instruction manual if you need it. We don't need it. You have extra little 3M adhesives, guys. This is a double stick 3M adhesive if you need that also. Then you have five of these clips if you guys really need to see five of them there. I honestly need to give me some of these because these are absolutely fantastic for uh, helping with basic wire management, especially if you have like your own small home office or even if you just have any kind of office. It's just, I, I absolutely love being able to wire my man or wire my managers, manage my wires as thoroughly as I can. Now, this is cool. Right here, guys. You'll take that adhesive, you peel it, stick it to your desk, stick it to your wall. Anywhere you really want to organize a quick cabling, you can do that. Now, I'm going to grab another cable and kind of show you guys the cable as it goes in. And it'll slide in and just clip into place just like that. Now, it does look to be a little bit of a adjustable, which is kind of cool. I'm not expecting that. So, it can fit a thick cord. So, if you guys look at the little gap in there, guys, this can actually spread quite open quite a lot. Now, let me see. You guys can actually see how wide that will open. These will legitimately open up a lot. Um, see if I can do this. Let's do this. Let's grab a double run. See how far we can open this. He's trying. Oh, he got Hopefully it. You could fit that into that clip just like that. No problems. So as you can see, absolutely fantastic um, 
uh, uh, cable holder clips done by Lammy Call. They did an amazing job on it. I love the fact that they included the, you know, the fact that it can spread open and be able to fit uh, larger cables because you could fit, honestly, um, one of those, like a, a thicker extension cord on that if you really needed to. And it just goes to show you that they really do care about the consumer because they offer the chance for them to not only have uh, multiple ways to manage their wires, but manage wires of varying lengths by having that, you know, that gap be adjustable. And that's something that's super cool. So like I said, definitely worth checking out all of these Lamy Call products that I've shown you and definitely worth going through their product page to go and check to see if there's any other thing that they might have that you may be interested in. Now, the product that we have up next is going to be a really awesome thermal shipping label uh, printer that is was pr or covered by Justin. But before I get into that, you guys know the drill. Every Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live show hosted by your boy Nikita. Do not forget hydrate or dehydrate make sure that you got your water bottles with you and you take a big old sip of water so that you can stay hydrated and make sure that your body is functioning as it should because there is nothing more important for our body than water uh, except for maybe food uh, you know uh, get you something to eat too while you're at it but make sure you stay hydrated Ugh. It's funny, I'm almost out. I'm probably gonna have to stop at some point to go refill my water because I cannot I cannot keep as much as I'm talking, as fast as I'm talking, I cannot be without water for a stream. And this is half a gallon, so that should tell you how much water I be going through uh for each stream. But let me go ahead and get into this uh this thermal printer. A really amazing thermal printer goes absolutely fast. I believe it it can print uh, 72 slips a minute or something like that. Uh, it's really fast, but Justin's going to go ahead and explain, uh, you know, the intricacies of it. Now, just know that this is not a Bluetooth printer. You have to have this plugged in to your computer, um, or your laptop, whatever you may be printing from, but it, it is not a Bluetooth capable printer. This is a label printer that is for people who run their own Etsy stores, Shopify stores, you make your own merch or you sell your own merch and you need to ship out your merch yourself, packaging it up and ship it out to, you know, your customers, your consumers, things like that. This is the ID print or IDPRT shipping label. So the way this works is, and hold on, my headset cord is over my printer cord here. I have it all plugged in so I have cords everywhere. So the way this works is you get a package or several packages. You would weigh them with a package scale, right? Measure them to get the right boxes, do the right measurements. You plug that information into your UPS or FedEx or whatever your shipping provider is. And then this syncs with it and it prints out a shipping label that you could just stick on and then drop off. Do that quick drop. Did I hear giveaway? I mean, James, if you want to host a giveaway, you can. But Justin has yet to teach me how to do giveaways so I can't do my own. He doesn't trust me. <laughs> off our quick pickup. So I created a custom shipping label here. Because shipping labels have PII data, which is personal info data. So I had to remove a QR code, I had to remove the barcode, and this is kind of like just a sample shipping label. And I already printed this out on the printer to show you. So it can print almost border to border. Really, really nice size. Comes with a bunch of labels, but you could buy extra labels. And one thing it really uh, is exciting to announce is the fact that it could do 72 labels a minute. 72 labels a minute. I don't know how anybody could ship 72 packages. So yeah, that's what I was, I was right. It is 72 labels a minute, which is absolutely fast. So I'm going to skip to the part where he actually starts printing and you'll see just how fast they come out. So then you got to waste all the paper. Yeah, but they sent it. It's sample. You can see that, right? It's okay, James. Don't worry about it. One day he'll show me. Maybe, hey, James, convince him to teach me already so I can start doing my own giveaways because I would love to do one. You see how fast this printed shipping labels, right? That's 60. 72 per minute. Look at that. Look how fast it prints out shipping labels. That is crazy quick. So if you do bulk inventory items, and you need to ship out a, a 
So yeah, just absolutely fantastic thermal printer. Uh, the fact that it's thermal printer means you don't have to worry about having toner for it or anything. And it just, it prints absolutely lightning fast and fantastic. And it's definitely uh, great for the small business owner or Etsy store owner so that you can ship out uh, packages super fast and have the labels print at, at expediently. Uh, and just absolutely fantastic. Justin also does an amazing job on this next product showing us these awesome Vaunt Lantern 4 packs. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and pull that video up too so you can see. what I My favorite feature about these Vaunt packs is the fact that you can they have a magnetic bottom so you can put them on like a fridge or any kind of metal surface and have them stick there and i think it's really cool um how it has different uh clamps on the side too so where you can hang them from different angles and different uh, perspectives here I'm unboxing the vaunt led lantern four pack what you get here is a four pack of led lanterns and the good thing is it includes batteries these are Oh yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. I love it when brands include batteries so I don't have to go buy my own. Uh, so that's just that's just one one selling point for them right there automatically. They're stylish little lanterns that provide a lot of light. Excellent for when you go camping. You could see easy to carry. You could expand them out and they get really bright. I can't wait to show you how bright they get. And I just like the idea of having old style lanterns rather than a flashlight though you can use it as a flashlight as well. So let's go ahead and throw some batteries in these. You'll notice that it is a four pack and it comes with a set of batteries for each of the lanterns. So now you get the four pack but you get a dozen batteries, it takes three per lantern. So let's go ahead and start loading the batteries in one of the lanterns and see how bright it gets and how it looks. To load the battery in the LED lantern all you have to do is unscrew the bottom here. And then you could see you have access to three batteries that need to go in here. Let's open these up. Pop in the three batteries. Screw it back on. And then you have your lantern. This is the flashlight portion of the lantern. I could turn that off. Then we've got the expandable. Let's take this up, this up. And look at that. Look how bright that is. That is a nice, nice bright lantern. So the one thing that I love about Vaunt is like, I know Vaunt and a lot of Dragon Bloggers know Vaunt as a really awesome uh, company that does different lighting aspects. Like this is just uh, the LED camping lanterns, but they also do different types of lights and lamps and stuff. Uh, so they're already known for lighting, but these lanterns are just absolutely fantastic. Like I said, you can see how bright they are. They have magnetic features to where you can clamp them onto like a fridge or maybe you want to, uh, if you had like your car hood up, if you want to clamp it onto the top of that to use as a lantern to see into your car at night, you could do that. And you just have all different kinds of purposes. And also if you have hooks they have hooks at the top hooks on the side hooks on the you know bottom too so you have you have different hanging options you have different sticking options and then of course you have the lighting options too whether it be from the top or from the you know from the actual lantern aspect of it it's just absolutely fantastic and you cannot beat it on the sale that you currently have the next product in the carousel, however, is a product that I did, and it's going to be an absolutely amazing Bob and Brad uh, muscle massage gun. It's their T2 model. Um, I actually still have this. It's up in my closet right now, uh, but it's just an absolutely amazing um a massager. Bob and Brad is known for their amazing massage guns and products, and this product is absolutely on a steal right now. One of the highest quality peak massage guns that you can get and it's currently 48 percent off almost half off of its regular price which is close to 200 so definitely a steal and definitely worth checking out hey everyone so this is the bob and brad t i'm gonna skip just a little bit to where we actually take it out of the box and show you everything I'll show you here's one here's another here's one over here this is one also and then this is the last attachment that's in this part of the carrying case. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and assemble it and experiment with it and then show you guys some of its features. So I have absolutely fallen in love with the Bob and Brad T2. Um, like I said, first and foremost, it has a good hand feel to it. Um, it's got a good weight, um, very good easy to hold very easy to balance um, it's very easy to put any of the heads in you just kind of like 
put it on, push and twist a little bit, and then boom, you're good to go. And then same when you want to pull it out, you just pull and twist just a little bit and it comes right out. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and like show you. Um, so when you want to turn it on. This was when I just started doing Dragon Blogger stuff. <laughs> I was, it was like every other sentence was, um, uh, 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 um, you know, I just, <laughs> just hold the button for a little bit and it gets to going. As you can see, it, you know, pushing pretty, pretty fast. I'm so much more confident when I do my videos now. Back then, I was not. I was still a young little little wormling. It's oscillating really fast. Um, it's got a couple settings, and all you have to do is uh, hit it once to go all the way up. Um, but as you can see, it's got five speeds. The fifth one is a little too rough for me. I'm kind of sensitive, um, so I, I don't really... I sensitive. I so sensitive. I sorry. You <laughs> want the, the max is, that it can go. Um, Yes, these are really nice, Lisa. I absolutely, massage guns in general are just fantastic, but the Bob and Brad models are just like absolute high tier, high quality massage guns. And I absolutely love them. Um, hi, <laughs> hello, Margaret, how are you doing? But yeah, I, I you know, I still occasion, uh, occasionally, I still slip up and do the uh, ums, you know, when I, cause I, I do be drawing blanks sometimes, but I, I'm a lot better than I was in the beginning. Even my first live streams, I was like, uh, uh, um, uh, it's just, it's just, it's nice to go back and see these older, these older streams and these older videos that I didn't just see how far I've come along the way. Also, what's up, uh, Eric, how you doing? Uh, I are, I are getting earlier and earlier. Uh-huh. I are too. <laughs> uh, but welcome. I'm covering for Nate again. Uh, well, for not Nate again, for Nate today. I was covering for James yesterday. Uh, actually, no, this is later than yesterday. Yesterday was morning. This is afternoon. I'm, I'm actually getting later and later again. If you, if you see the trend, cause Wednesday was morning. This is afternoon. And then, um, Monday and Tuesday will be evening. Uh, actually, if you want to, you can call me, uh, some, some of my friends call me Nikki. Some of my friends call me NK. It's really what you, honestly, I, uh, Eric, you, you're, I consider you a, a, a friend and fellow Star Wars enthusiast. So call me what you want. Just don't call me crazy, you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I'm filling in for, uh, for Nate today because he's still having computer issues. Uh, so this is, you, you guys get twice the Nikita this week. Typically, I only do Monday and Tuesday, but I've done Wednesday and Thursday now. Maybe I'll go for a 5P. You'll call me maybe okay carly ray jepson <laughs> but yo absolutely fantastic bob and brad uh massage gun um the next product that we have uh we're going to be showing you the product page for it it's for the uh quineer foot massager this is a really good uh shiatsu foot massager um and so i'm going to be showing you guys the product page for this one so let's go ahead and look through this one together so as you guys can see here, this is the Quineer Shiatsu Foot Massage with heat, deep kneading, air compression, and a foot massager machine uh, for neuropathy, pains, and circulation. It has six intensities, two heating modes, two separate modes, and then two speeds. Uh, what's really cool is that you can see it's currently 20% off of its regular price, but there is also cl a clickable coupon on the page that you can click to take an additional 20% off of the actual product itself. Now we'll scroll down to some of the features. So it says improve circulation and relief fatigue um the quineer foot massage combines with shiatsu massage kneading massage compressor massage and heating function together helps to relieve foot pain improve circulation reduce feet exhaustion and promote sleep quality relax the whole body through massaging um, acupoints on the soles of the feet as you guys can see i'm going to click to enlarge this the actual design of it looks really comfortable you can see that it has these really nice pads on the side too uh for when you put your feet in and just you know you get a nice comfortable uh feel on them too um, it shows you here again the different uh, massage functions and uh, availabilities that you have. Six massage intensities, two kneading spreads, two massage modes, and two heating functions. Most likely this one's going to be a low heat and a high heat sort of function. Um, it does a really nice, this is how, how the massage is going to work on you. Rolling and kneading on your forefoot, scraping on the arches. Uh, you know, I, the, the arch the arch scraping always gets me because it, uh, it always tickles me. 
Um, and so I, I really don't like this part, but you know, some people can handle it. I would be squirming, uh, kneading on the heels, air pressure on the instep. And then of course you got the heat included. Let's see. I got my, uh, bed shirt mattress protector today. I'm not a prime member, but I got into it. Hey, that's awesome. Margaret. Uh, uh, have you, have you put it on yet? Let me know when you do, but I promise you that thing is absolutely fantastic. Um, then you also see, uh, so it's got a deflate button that you can press if the feet, um, if it feels strange, you know, cause sometimes, you know, we, we jump in and we go and we set it for the highest settings and, you know, it can cause pain. So it has that automatic deflate button. So where if you start feeling some pain, you just press that and you're, you're good on that. Um, it's portable and easy to carry and it has a nice base anti-slip design at the bottom. And then last but not least, these, um, these, the, the foot, uh, covers that you put in are removable and washable. Uh, so that's something that is really cool about them because, uh, feet stink. I, I actually really, uh, I hate feet a lot. I, if it, if it's anyone's feet, but my own, I don't want to touch them. I don't want to see them. And sadly I've had to see more of Justin and James's feet than I've ever wanted to in my life. But you know, that's okay. Cause I, 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 I would move mountains for those two men, but it's just, I don't like feet and so and feet be stinky so the fact that you can take those those out and um remove it and 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 wash it so you can ensure that it's going to be sanitary is absolutely fantastic and just a a, a really awesome a small feature that is in the Quinir uh, Shiatsu foot massager with heat and so definitely worth checking out really nice deal like I said 20% off and a $20 clickable coupon and so definitely worth using and okay Margaret uh let me know what you think uh the next time I see you if you if you don't have it put on by the time uh this stream is over but I'm really excited to to hear how you feel about it I I loved it because it had had extra space it wasn't difficult to put on my mattress at all and that's something that i'm always looking forward to uh because i hate having to i hate having difficult stuff honestly uh, but next up we have this really cool avantech wireless doorbell merle's gonna cover this one so we're gonna get to see it how it works and how um how amazing it is let's see my sister has a foot massager what kind does she have go ahead and get this video pulled up we have an Avantech doorbell kit. Go ahead and get this open up, see what we got going on inside. So here is our obvious doorbell. And the great thing is this is going to be so that you just plug into any outlet in your house. So you're not bound to any kind of a location. Here is the actual doorbell functionality on it. Let's go ahead and let's do the satisfying pull right now. I'm gonna just skip just a little bit ahead. All right, and the volume up button. I'm gonna hold that for a few seconds. It's in pairing mode now. Oh, that's loud. And there are 52 melodies available here. Okay, we're gonna have to count. Oh my God, my, oh, my ears. <laughs> Oh man, I was not expecting it to be that loud. Woo! I am so sorry for any of you who were listening to that. And it, it, that was, I was not expecting that. That was really loud. But what's really cool is that it's super easy to use and super easy to install. And he said that there's 52 different sounds. Now, if you're the type of person who likes a doorbell that go, is going to make your house sound like a barnyard, then uh, this is definitely the product to check out. But it's absolutely fantastic how easy it is to set up. And you're not limited by where you can put it because all you simply need is a wall socket so that has power and once it's connected to the actual device itself, then you're just good to go and just install it however you see fit, um, whatever's going to be best for you, uh, you know, in your front door. And that's something that I think is really super cool about it. Before I move on to the next product, of course, I'm just going to go ahead and repost one more time for our current giveaway for those of you who are just now tuning in. Uh, there's a chance to win a Gigabyte GD G5 gaming laptop or $800 on PayPal by simply going to www.dragonblogger.com slash win gaming laptop. You enter through Gleam on the website um, and we will be doing the drawing for that sometime in the future. So make sure that you also hit that follow button 
so that you can stay up to date with all of our Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live streams. Uh, we're always doing, um, you know, we have a, a bunch of giveaways. We we have a, a, a team of extraordinary content creators, all of which we all love our community so much, and we love getting to show you guys cool products and getting to do things for you. So please follow to come join our amazing Dragon Blogger Legion, our family. Um, and, you know, of course, we're always happy to have you. So don't be shy. Hit that follow button and come be a part of the Dragon Blogger magic. Now, next up, Justin does an amazing job on, on this really cool Hummix 5-in-1 case. I love Hummix cases. They're absolutely fantastic. Uh, actually, I currently have a Hummix case on right now, too. Uh, it's a different series than the one that I'm about to show you, but Hummix are just absolutely fantastic. One of my favorite phone brands um, of all time for, for cases, um, and they just do an amazing job on this awesome uh, phone case that comes with screen protectors. I'm here showcasing the new shockproof case for the iPhone. Bag safe ring. You don't know what you're going to get, but there's always one mystery prize included. And you can see this one included a little kickstand that came with the phone. So that was my mystery prize with this one. So this kickstand just sticks to the back of your phone case and it basically opens and closes, allowing it to act like, um, you know, a little stand to hold your phone horizontally. You get the frame which you put your phone in so that way it holds it in place and makes it easier to put the screen protectors on. And of course, each screen protector comes with the pack which includes the cleaning cloth, cleaning wipes to make sure that they go on clean. So what you're gonna do is put the phone in the case here just like this and then you're gonna basically clean the top of your phone Gently peel off and put on the screen protector and make sure it lines up perfectly, and then you're good to go. Now, something to know is this is a 0.33 millimeter tempered glass screen protector, so it has a really good chance of keeping your phone screen from being damaged. Going back to the screen protectors, again, here's the pouch. You get two, one for each screen protector, and you see you have your little sticky tape here to help remove dust and dirt. You get your lint-free cloth to help clean your screen. You get your little wet wipe here, so that way you can make sure your screen is completely clean because you don't want to have any dust or fingerprints on your phone when you're applying the screen protector yep. on top of it. And I really like that they give you two in the off chance that one of them gets damaged. Also, what's up, Danilo? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Now, for the clear protective case that you put your phone in here, something to note is it's very anti-skid, anti-slip. It's nice and protective. It has really extra cushioned corners and bumpers to protect your phone from drops and impact damage. And it just feels great on your phone. It allows you to see the color and the natural color of your phone if you bought one of those colored phones that have a different color in the back so you can see it right through. It's a slim profile so it doesn't take up any extra space in your pocket or everywhere you keep your phone when you're traveling and it's just a really, really nice option. So as you can see, it's really cool. Hummix does an amazing job with all their cases and one of their one of their main selling points or one of the reasons why I love the brand so much is that in and a whole bunch of their series for different phone cases and stuff. It just, it really, they really do an amazing job uh, for their consumer by including those extra, um, the, the extra protection from those tempered glass screens. Uh, like I said, this is the one that I have currently is also a Hummix case. And not only did this one come with two uh, protectors for the phone screen, but it also came with two protectors for the actual camera itself. So it really just depends on what model you get. We're showing this model because it's currently on the deal stream, but I promise you if you go through, if you're looking for a really sturdy case that you can 100% get behind and you get those extra tempered glass uh, protectors for your screen and your camera, definitely go check out the Hummix storefront page because I promise you they'll have something that you'll either want or make sure you'll enjoy because I, I promise you they, they make sure that they care about their consumer and have you guys as protected as possible. Next up on our carousel, we have a, we're back on the James train and we have these really awesome flexible headphones by Purely Sound. These are the E7's ANC headphones. James here with a quick, quick unboxing and showcase of a new product. This is from Purely Sounds. This is our E7 Active Noise Canceling Headphones, guys. This has a 20-hour playtime on the Bluetooth or wireless headset. Now, this has a 45-millimeter drivers, guys, plus it has microphone. The microphone will allow you to crisply talk to your people on your phone if that's what you're using this for. If you're using it for just uh, music, then you get about up up to about 20 hours of uh, life. I'm going to skip ahead to where he pulls it out and actually shows us. Uh, you got some little plastic here. Let's peel the little plastic off and show you guys this. It's actually on there pretty good. 
So they actually have the edges a little taped up right here, guys, right? Let's skip a little bit past the taping. Don't there worry about it. Nice little blue pleather. pleather. I'm going to call it pleather. Plus the black and blue design. These are swivelable. So if you guys need to flatten them out, go ahead and flatten them out. They fit on my head pretty good. No complaints there with the way it connected up. I can't complain about that. It does fit over my ear, which is, you know, I wasn't expecting. So now the real question is, is will it power up or do I need to charge it for the rest of the test? So let's find out. Drum roll, please. All right, so I'm gonna have to take a few minutes. I'm gonna have to yep, charge it. Yep, he's gonna have to I charge it. Right <laughs> okay, guys. Now that we got it charged up, take the NC button right here, right, the noise canceling button, hold it down, and it'll power on. Which now we are activated, right? So then we take our phone. It says it's pairing, but it can't pair to anything because we've never connected it. So now we have to come over here. Sound bad. It's just a little bit far. Oh, okay. There we so go. So if that's what you want, just tap it. it so goes. now he's going to test the sound quality. If you want it to skip, long press the volume up or down. It don't sound bad. That, okay. That right there, that's James' selling point. If he says it's not bad or he doesn't hate it, that's how you know it's a fantastic James. <laughs> James is <laughs> James's reviews of certain products or how he feels about them is is always so funny to me because like there was one product that he had and he he uses it he goes I don't hate it and we're just like wonderful selling point James. <laughs> but Absolutely, really awesome, uh, nice active noise canceling headset. Super easy, just use out of the box, really easy to connect. Now, one thing, you are going to have to charge it. As I, I would just, as a default, whenever I open a new product, I just always charge it for a little bit, even if it's just for like five minutes while I'm reading the instruction manual on how to use it. That is better than nothing, um, but once you do, you have those different settings. I like the fact that it has its own set of commands for how you uh, would skip song. Because typically when I, I, I auto default to like the play button being how to go to next songs and previous songs, you know, double tap forward, triple tap to go back. Um, but for this one, you hold long press uh, the uh, volume increase button to go forward, long press the volume decrease button to go back. Um, and then you have a button at the bottom that you press for the active noise canceling features and stuff. So just a really nice headset to have. The next product that we're going to be doing on the stream, and I actually have it with me, um, it's a really awesome waterproof case uh, that either comes with or without a, uh, a lanyard. Uh, you know, you can choose to put the lanyard on or not. But what's really cool about this case and like I said, the only reason I'm not using this case right now is because I, I got another case and whenever I get a new case, I just move on to the next one unless I decide to go back. But I, I keep this case with me in case I need to go uh, to like the beach or something because this thing is absolutely fantastic when it comes to being waterproof. Uh, as you can see, like if you look at the, uh, if I can get it to focus, if you look at where the... Um, the mute button would be you can see there's like a small film and that film is also there at the bottom I know it's kind of hard to see because my camera won't focus on it, but there's also a film for the speakers and the um, The the mic too and then it has a, a, a really this the where the charging port is um, it does a really good job at like sealing itself so you know because this is the only way to get water into the case so you need to make sure this is closed to ensure the waterproof but the fact that it has this tempered glass and the fact that it uh is just absolutely amazing makes me like i love this case and i love the fact that it has a lanyard especially if you're going to be using it oops underwater um because you can do that if you want to uh just make sure that your phone won't get lost because you can attach it um to your to your wrist now one thing that i will say about this case Actually, I have, I have a few things that I will say about this case. So one thing that I always look for in my cases, uh, especially for my iPhone, is its ability to work with a third-party charger. 
Um, this one, because of how you have to seal the bottom um, and how tight it has to be, I, it works with some of my third party chargers, but not all of them uh, because it has to make sure that this piece can fit in there and be super tight so no water gets in there. So therefore it's a little bit smaller than some of the ports that I have on my other cases. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. The other thing about this case too uh, is the fact that for the, the camera part, uh, I currently, as I was saying, I currently have a protector on mine, as you can see right here, uh, for my my camera, uh, to because I, I want the protection for my camera. If you have one of those on your phone, you will have to remove it to use this case because it will not fit. It will not close if you have a protector on your camera. There's one thing to keep in mind, but outside of that, this case is almost perfect in every way. Um, it will fit if you have, it doesn't matter if you have a tempered glass uh, case on your phone or, or a tempered glass on your phone already. Uh, in fact, I would recommend it because you can have a tempered glass on your phone and this is also tempered glass too. So you just have that much more protection on your phone. I would feel absolutely completely comfortably just throwing my phone into the wind um, and letting whatever happens happens because uh, this protection is also really good, but I also always keep a tempered glass uh, protection on my phone as is um but no really easy to act, to hit the buttons on the side too and even though the um the button for the mute has a slight film on it it doesn't impede using the actual mute button itself so just an absolutely overall fantastic case that i would highly recommend to anyone with an iphone 13 mm -hmm. just wonderful uh fantastic case the next product that we have on our carousel is one that was done by Dragon Blogger Demetrius. This is going to be for the Insignia 42 inch. Uh, I believe this is the, this is one of, it's in the F20 series. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. So it's, this is the Insignia F20. It's a 42 inch TV. I'm going to go ahead and pull that up and we can just jump straight into it and see what an amazing video quality this thing has. Hey guys, my name is Demetrius. Plastic and boom, there you have it. The Equalizer 2 is displayed on the screen and really, really perfect picture. You have all these apps right here already on the TV. You have Netflix Prime Video. You also have the news and more. And like you said, you can just click that apps and channels and then it has all your apps. So what's cool is that it already comes with some pre-installed apps. So as soon as you plug in your TV and get it hooked to your Wi-Fi, you're good to go. But you also have... Uh, the option to go and install more than, than what you see uh, on the actual TV itself, which I think is really cool. And I'm going to skip ahead to see. Uh, so he explains some of the features with the remote, too. For the best entertainment, to stream your favorite movies and TV shows from a thousand of channels and apps. One of the best TVs that I've seen that has a lot of stuff included already in the TV as in on the remote, as you can just click on Netflix. If you wanted to go to Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video, and Disney. For the main apps that you will use to watch movies, TVs, and all that stuff too, you can also access it. So just an absolutely amazing TV. Very clear, nice uh, picture. Uh, and it is a 42 inch and the price for it is absolutely fantastic because you have all of those apps already installed. They're ready to go and you can watch whatever, uh, your favorite streaming services too. I love the, I love it when the remotes include those quick buttons, uh, and, and they always include like the most popular apps too. Uh, like that one had Netflix, Disney plus and Amazon prime just for example. So it's really easy to just go in press the button and go straight to the app without having to navigate through the menu. And that's that's something that I really do love. Now on a like a more higher end of the spectrum, if you were also looking for a another smart TV to use, Jeff does an amazing job at covering this next TV. This is the Toshiba C350. Uh, um, and it is also another really awesome smart TV to have. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that one up. This one is just a little bit bigger. This one's a 50 inch, so you get eight more inches on the diameter, or di diameter, on the diagonal of the uh, the screen. <laughs> Hello everyone, Jeff here today, and I'm super excited today to, yeah, to the app store here as well. You can find free shows and movies. You can look up regular movies elsewhere, TV shows, sports. You can even search for them by category down here. That's pretty darn cool. 
And finally, you also have access to live television. So if you want to get a live. Hello, Tiberio. Welcome to the stream. I hope I'm saying your name right. Welcome in. Welcome in. Happy to have you here. How you doing today? TV or get to live TV. You just go here and use any of your services here for it, or you can use cable and watch live TV that way. Some other really cool things about this TV is it is an ultra 4K HD TV. I love the picture quality. This uses Toshiba's Regza Engine 4K. That's their 4K um, software. It just delivers such crisp, cool picture quality. I love it. Another really cool thing is this has DTS Virtual X on it as well. And what that one means, I've got a soundbar and a bass connected to this TV. With those connected, along with the speakers that come with the TV, you can create an entire 3D uh, audio experience without having to get a whole mess of extra speakers set up all the way around your room. So, so uh, I'm going to say James. Jeff does an amazing job at describing all of the features of this TV. And like you said, that ultra 4K quality is going to give you a nice ultra high definition crisp picture um, that's just going to take your TV viewing experience to the next level. Now, like he also said, it also includes the Regza um, Engine 4K, which is Toshiba's high performance 4K engine for stunning uh, picture quality. Um that just make the LCD panel of the TV pop. And then of course you've got the Dolby Vision HDR and HDR10, which trans transforms your TV into an absolutely amazing entertainment powerhouse. And then of course, as he was explaining towards the end there, it has the DTS virtual sound, uh, which basically um, if you pair it with, you know, just, he said he just has a sound bar with it. It just does absolutely amazing 3D sound effects with that DTS engine. And so you are going to get an absolutely fantastic, awesome Toshiba TV that's going to really make your entertainment experience pop. Now, moving on to the next product, we have a really cool uh, Rover, or not Rover, sorry, Rove. R2 4K dash cam. Uh, I believe that Merle did this one. Uh, we got a lot of Merle products today. Um, I think Merle did this one. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and pull that video up so we can see just, you know, what comes with it and how it works. All right, let's see what we have today. The Rove R2 4K dash cam. All right, let's see what's inside. I'm gonna skip just a little bit. 10 speed U3. All right. Just gonna put that aside. Is there anything else in here? There's it's nice packing there. That's real nice, actually. It's not that hard foam that you see a lot of. It's definitely not the styrofoam, it's real soft. All right, and in here, I'm gonna guess. It's Get just a little bit farther. Uh, Do does he actually show us any video in this? So he doesn't show us any recording footage of it. And what's here? Okay, so this is the USB uh, cigarette lighter adapter. And nice to give us a double plong so that way you could still plug something else in there if you wanted to. Alright, and this is another USB to mini USB much much smaller than the primary one so that would make things you have options there okay now this is recommending so that's an hd out that's like a mini hdmi port there's a usb port we were mentioning earlier and all right so as you can see, you get a lot of cool accessories for this really awesome, awesome dash cam. You get that 4K Ultra HD recording. And because the actual Rove um, camera has built-in Wi-Fi, you can use the Rove app uh, to view and manage your dash cam recordings instantly from your iOS or Android devices, just depending on what kind of phone you have. And then by using the app, you can download all of your recorded 4K videos directly to your smartphone um, and easily share them on social media if, if you know, you guys see something that you need to share. Um, it also features um, GPS uh, to accurately record your driving location and your speed. And uh, what's really cool is that it has a F1.8 aperture, which is the largest in the industry. Um, 
uh, for the camera, which gives you a really nice 150 degree A plus wide angle um, so that you make sure like the view that you see is going to be absolutely fantastic. And it's just an absolutely amazing dash cam to have, uh, again, currently on sale too. Uh, for those of you who like to, you know, maybe you want to record and do like a time lapse view of you driving or something, or you just want to make sure that you record in case, in case the event of like an accident or something happens, whatever eventuality you may want a dash cam for, this is going to be an absolutely fantastic one because you get that awesome 4K quality for an amazing price. Now, the next product that we have for you is one that James, or not James, the one that Nate does. I'm just messing up names today, man. I'm so sorry. Uh, but it's the Bissell Steam Shot, and he's going to be using it to clean a chair pillow on his gaming chair. So it's going to be, uh, we're, we're going to get a really nice showcase of how awesome and how strong the steam power of this Bissell um, Steam Shot is going to be. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech. First thing you're going to want to do is basically just plug it in with this super long cable. Once you get this plugged in, you're going to notice that right here you have this orange light. That means that the water is heating up and getting to the temperature that you need. You also have this handle and honestly the design of this thing is really nice with the blue and gray accents. So to fill this thing up with water, which is obviously what you're going to be using with this, all you have to do is twist off this little blue cap and it will expose this opening. So this does come with a funnel so you can do this a little bit easier, but I've already pre-filled it off screen. So then once you have that filled up with water, just simply twist it back on and then you should be good to go. So you guys can see right here that you have this little attachment. Now this comes with it obviously and you will have to make sure that this is on. Otherwise it will just have steam kind of leak out and pour right there. So twist that on and then you are going to have multiple attachment heads so you guys can see to put on or take off the attachment heads all you simply have to do is just pop it off and then the next one that you want to put on all you have to do is simply just snap it on like so you guys can see right there all you have to do is basically just push that on and then you are good to go then once those are on you're basically just waiting for this thing to heat up so i'll be back in just a second when it's so i'm going to skip to where he actually starts using it and here we go. Let's disinfect go. multiple materials or multiple surface types. So you guys can see right here, this little headrest on here could obviously be prone to a bunch of stuff. So I went ahead and just brought that steamer over it. And you guys can see that it did a super good job cleaning it. And being that it is steam and not just straight water that you're pouring onto it, it did a really good job cleaning. So we have a little bit of a stain or a mark right here. So what I'm going to do to get this cleaned is basically just go over it with the steam shot a couple of times. You guys might have to go over the surface multiple times depending on the severity of it. But you guys can see after that, all I'm doing right here being that this is material, I'm just drying this off. But it did a super good job of just getting that stain out. So as you can see with this steamer, regardless of the material that you're using on, whether it's more of like the felt type, like his pillow, or more of like a, a sort of plastic leather, plastic and leather combination of his the actual seat itself, it does an amazing job at going through and, and being able to clean those stains and clean those, um, you know, the, the chair off um, and just for the price that it's at, and, and Bissell has, has been a long time, um, like vacuum, cleaner, uh, you know, um, mop, you know, Bissell has a bunch of cleaning, you know, um, products and stuff. And so, you know, it's a, it's a brand name that you can trust and you can get behind and it's on sale currently too, because of the deal stream. So it's definitely one that's going to be worth checking out, uh, especially if you have a need for a steamer and that's just something that's really cool. You could even use it to steam your clothes if you really wanted to, because you know, you have all sorts of purposes that you can do. It's not just for one thing. It's, it's for, it's for a lot of things. The next thing that I'm going to show you is, a, a you know, it's funny. My girlfriend actually uses, still uses, we still use this desk, uh, but it's a absolutely amazing, super easy to build and assemble L-shaped desk. I was able to build it by myself in about 20 minutes. Um, and so it, it didn't take that long at all. So and it just, it looks is... fantastic. Also, you can see the big chonker of a cat in the background, Molder, just sitting around. This is the L-shaped desk. Um, it's very nice. Uh, the assembly um, took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to, but it wasn't difficult by any means. Um, Skip just a little bit. stuff. But the instructions are pretty easy to follow. So as you can see, like, 
not many steps at all, simply eight steps. And it was really easy to go through and just do all of them. Like it did take a little bit longer than I thought I would, but it, it didn't, I mean, it still didn't take that long. Like, you know, you could sit there and put on an episode or whatever you want to watch on a streaming service. And from start to finish, by the time you finish that episode, you'll be done building this thing. Well, it's very important that you make sure um, everything is facing the correct orientation because, um, you know, if you don't, there are holes that will not fit. So make sure you pay attention. They have really good detailed instructions on about, about what side things need to be on. But other than that, I'm very satisfied with it. It looks very um, aesthetically pleasing. It's very nice and sleek. It's got a good shape to it. And of course, it's that L desk style. So you can put it in the corner and maximize your available desk space by having, um, you know, your stuff positioned around you and your, your it's so funny how long ago this was too, because this is when we were moving back into the old uh, condo uh, or the last condo that I stayed at. And now we're at a house. So it's been, it's been well over a year since I made this video, but this desk is just absolutely fantastic. It's made out of a solid material. And like I said, super easy to build. If, if, if it was a one person task, you wouldn't struggle. You could do it honestly, slightly distracted. You just, the, the really big thing is the orientation of the pieces super 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 matter and you need to make sure it's in the, in the right place i think that was one of the things one of the hiccups that i had while building it which is why it took a little bit longer than i was expecting was because i had to go back because i realized that you know one piece i had put the wrong way so i had to go back and fix it uh but if you if you're smarter than me which i guarantee you most of you probably are <laughs> uh it's really easy to avoid that mishap and just make sure you have a really awesome l-shaped gaming desk that will stand the test of time be absolutely amazing have a nice little stand up there too where you can put different things like maybe a printer or something else um and just to have a really nice clean smooth surface now james is going to be showing this next product which i also have this same product too uh these are the huju uh refrigerator organizer bins and they're absolutely fantastic whether you want to use them uh outside the refrigerator in the refrigerator whatever you may want them for they're absolutely fantastic i always laugh at james when i see this video because he takes out a knife and scratches when he's like yeah it can be scratched like yeah, duh, duh, Sherlock. Did, did you really need to? <laughs> I just thought it was funny. So let's go ahead and watch that video. James here with a quick show showcase of a new product. This is from Hojo. This is a refrigerator organizing bins. This is an eight piece kit, guys. These are two and a half inches long. This set is the two and a half inches long by six and a half, 6.3 inches wide by three and a half inches high. Now, like I said, eight kit. So I'm just gonna pull one out and show you guys this. They're all the same. Now. They are nice plastic, guys. Has a nice corrugated like uh, feel on the bottom. Handles. One handle feels Here like comes the, knife. the other one dips outwards. You should be able to hold about eight soda cans in here or, you know, veggies or anything like that sort, guys. Nice plastic, durable plastic, right? Very simple, very easy, guys. Now, remember, it is plastic. So if you take it like a knife or something, it's going to scratch it. You're going to see the scratch. <laughs> oh my god james <laughs> it is plastic so if you take a knife it'll scratch it like thanks james we appreciate you Scratches. i don't know if you guys can see that scratch right there but you're gonna see it now it i'm just testing to show you guys just be careful i mean i have eight of them and we're gonna actually use this for yeah just be careful that you don't take a knife to the side of this thing and purposely scratch it be careful make sure you avoid that situation something other than the fridge we're gonna use this in our bathroom storage guys to uh organize makeup so that little scratch doesn't bother me plus there's seven more nice little product easy very flexible so yeah, super easy to use, super to set, like super, you just simply take it out of the box, pull them out of each other, take the little uh, wrappings off, and then you're just good. You just slide it in. Like I said, you can use it for whatever. If you never wanted to use it for inside the actual refrigerator, you wouldn't have to. You, like he said, he's going to be using it for makeup because I believe his daughter and his wife are beauticians, uh, so they, they use it to organize their makeup. But like you can use it for all sorts of purposes, pens, pencils, wires, and stuff, wherever you wanted to use it. Um, these are multi-purpose. They're designed for the refrigerator so they can handle those frigid temperatures but you can use them for whatever best fits your needs so definitely worth checking out especially with them being on a, on the deal stream today now next up james shows us this really cool evaporative cooler uh 
These are absolutely amazing for people who are in drier climates uh, because it helps add moisture to the air as you're in the environment. And so it's just really cool. This is the Air Choice uh, Evaporative Cooler Tower, and he's going to show us all these cool features. So shout out Justin, our glorious leader, Mr. Dragon Blogger himself, for doing this video. I'm here show showcasing this Air Choice Evaporative, Evaporative Cooler Tower Fan. What you get here is your typical tower fan, except you can pour water and ice as well as an ice pack with it to help cool down and blow a really really cool breeze which dramatically cools down the air this is ideal if you live in dry hot climates not in hu super humid climates of course but if you live in the southwest this is ideal so you get the water fill container up at the top but you can see it drains through all the way to the bottom and you can fill it in at the bottom as well so you could choose to pour it in at the top to fill it or you could pour it directly in at the bottom adding the little ice cooler and it comes with one that you put in the freezer you fill it with water and then you place it in the bottom you can see the coils back here, easy to clean. There's a nice little filter on it. Here is the bottom container. Here is where you would add your ice pack to make it nice and cold so that you get a cool mist and it cools down the air that's blowing on you. And it makes just a dramatic difference. Living here in Southern California or used to live in Arizona, having the... Every time he says that, I always think it never rains in Southern California. It never rains. And, you know, so it's it, that's how you know it's really good to have an evaporative cooler for ability it. to just put an ice cold water will really help because we have a very low humidity level. So the water vapor and the cold water vapor that's being blown by the fan really makes a difference. And it's better than an air conditioner because it doesn't use as much power. Now, obviously, like I said, if you're in a very high humid area, you, uh, evaporative coolers don't work typically as well. But they work very well if you live in a dry climate area. So... You can simply just close it up. Here's your water level, and it tells you when you're getting close to low. You could fill your line up to near max. I've usually put it a little over halfway. It lasts about almost two days, depending on how dry your area is. It lasts surprisingly long before you have to refill it. Now, you could use this as just a fan mode, or you could use it as an evaporative cooler where it blows cool air from the uh, water as well. You have your temperature settings where it will auto-adjust and shut off if it reaches that temperature, or your fan speeds plus it oscillates. It just gives you a really, really good burst of cool air. So uh, again, just an absolutely amazing evaporative cooler. Very perfect for people who are in drier climates who need to have that extra moisture in their air, especially uh, when it's hot. You know, you want to cool down and it's cool that it features that little ice pack and that you can put cold water in there to help uh, assist with the cooling feature that the fan is already going to give you. But now you have that extra cold moisture floating around in the air to keep you wonderfully cool in this terrible hot summer heat let me tell you something this is not the same heat that was out there when i was growing up this heat went to college with me or something and got some extra degrees or something because it's hot as i don't know what so this is advanced heat <laughs> Uh, the next product that we have on the carousel for this fine afternoon is going to be the Acaso Brave 4. Uh, it's a really nice underwater cam that Demetrius is going to show us. Um, and it's just absolutely fantastic. It's basically like a GoPro style underwater camera. Uh, so if you're interested in something like that, this definitely might be the product for you to check out. What's really cool is that it's 20 megapixels and 4K. So you get a really nice, good, detailed quality uh, picture and video from Hello it. Hello everyone, my name is Demetrius, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys this awesome Brave 4 camera right here. It is the AKAS0 right there is a 4K camera. This is the waterproof case that it, it, it comes on right here whenever you open up the box. So with this one right here to, uh, to take that off right there, you have to uh, pop that right there, lift that up, and this piece right here will fold down just like that, and then you uh, you will pop that off, off just like that. So you, you have that open just like this, and you open that up to get that out, and you turn it over and have it out. So with that, as you can see, there's many, many pieces in here. A lot of mounts, a lot of stuff, which I'll, I'll... So we're going to go ahead and skip. So you can see here you get like a first-hand image of like what it looks like out of the water. So now we're going to skip just a, a little bit to see when he puts it in the actual water. 
uh, what kind of quality you're going to get from using it. Let's see. There we go. Also, your pictures, too. Let's jump right in and show you guys how it works in the water. And as you guys saw, what an awesome product and an awesome camera right here. And again, I do highly recommend this to you guys. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. So just a fantastic kind of GoPro style underwater camera that does a really amazing job. I That picture quality was absolutely fantastic, true. But I also love the fact that it does have like a sort of speaker um, or like a mic to capture the sound under the water also. Cause that's something that, um, you know, I don't know what it is about hearing like underwater, but it's kind of like calming, you know, especially when we were watching it follow his little pool cleaner that he had under the, under the actual water, you could hear like the sound of like the water moving around from under the, the surface of the water. And I thought that that was something that was absolutely fantastic and absolutely cool. And for the price and quality that you get, uh, it's just absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. You don't have to like this camera is not something that you would have to use underwater You could use it for whatever purposes you want to and you know You're going to get a really nice crisp image on it And it's just going to look absolutely fantastic and you're going to be more than satisfied with it Now Demetrius also does another kind of water-based product here and you get to see his cute precious pupper This is the Eva Joy pool um, And it's it, it has a lot of space it can hold like it looks like it can hold to about six people It's super easy to set up, but you get to see his beautiful pupper. Hold on. I'm gonna show you guys this thumbnail. Look at him Look easy precious Hey everyone, my name is Demetrius. I'm gonna be showing you guys this rectangle pool made by Eva Joy This product weighs about 12 pounds It has two drain plugs on the same side, whichever side you want to put it, right or left, depends on how you put it. And it has three chambers of where you can air it up at. As I'm going to show you how to do that, simply as easy. Each chamber will take about 60 seconds if you have an air compressor. And uh, the pool holds up to 162 gallons of water. And it's about 50% thicker than majority of other pools that you will see. As you can see later on in the video gonna have my dogs jump inside of it and play a little bit and show you guys and uh, the dimensions on that is 92 inches long and the width is about 56 and then you have the height is 20 as you can see right here and like I said it has those three chambers of where you can air it up at it's all on one side really easy it takes about maybe two minutes and here it is outside I'm gonna start filling it up for you guys and like I said it has those two drain plugs uh, whenever you're done using it and you just want to pack it away and you can just simply just open those up so here's my dog playing in it right here he's a big boy he's about 90 pounds and this pool is it holds up it can hold up to like one adult and you can also have like kids in there if they want to play in the, you can they can play with sand inside there also and all of that and uh my dog's having a good time and again this pool is made by eva joy and thank you for watching so really awesome pool, super easy to use and just, you know, fantastic. I loved looking at his pupper in the video uh, and it's just, it's just, it's just so cute. It's, it's just uh, absolutely amazing pool. The pupper is what got my heart in that video because, you know, I, I love, I love dogs so much. The dogs and cats, it, this is wonderful. I, I actually, you know what, believe it, I'm going to pull up that thumbnail just so we can look at it again because that was just so cute. Ooh, hold on, wait. Look at him! Look at the precious pupper. But absolutely fantastic, cool, um, absolutely amazing. And if you are looking to get a really nice uh, pool to use in the hot summer sun to help cool off, whether it's for you and your family or your, your furry friends, uh, definitely check that one out. Now jumping straight into the next product, that we have uh, is a really cool King mattress uh, that is a memory foam mattress. Merle covers this one. You can see his his pupper, and we just jump sh right straight into that one. Go ahead and get it going so we can uh, get it pulled up. Today we have the Crystal 10-inch memory foam mattress. I went ahead and opened this up yesterday, no, two days ago, to give it a chance to fully puff up, and I've had a couple of nights on it, which is amazing so far. Thank you. So one of the one of the one of the things you need to know is that when you get these, you need to um, 
let them you're supposed to let them air out for anywhere between 12 and 48 hours depending on the manufacturer um so this one was a 24 hour one so you just need to make sure you let it wait out uh so you can get um you know the make sure that it's completely expanded uh before you start using it so a couple cool. things is it has several different layers this top layer is a very stretchy fabric to help minimize motion transfer between the two people no, whoever's sleeping on it underneath that we have let me there's going to be a comfort memory foam layer below this below that is a adjustable memory foam layer that helps it's it's corrugated it's wavy it helps increase temperature or not increase but increase airflow so this does not get very hot below that we've got a fire retardant I love how his pupper brought the bone onto the bed to be comfortable and enjoy himself. I love puppers! Bubble. Below that, we're going to have a high-density memory foam layer. And then there's going to be a layer of springs, which you can see right here, between sandwiched between those two high-density layer of memory foam. Each spring is individually wrapped to minimize motion transfer and decrease the squeakiness from the mattress. And it's surprisingly very comfortable. So super, uh, like super simple. Honestly, the the hardest part about setting up this mattress is the fact that uh, when you first get it, you need to unroll it and let it expand for about twenty four hours. But very comfortable mattress, as you can. The pupper loved it, so I know I would love it because you know if if it, if it attracts puppers, it'll attract me. Uh, but just a really nice. Uh, thick 12 inch memory foam mattress to use. And then of course, if you go to the product page itself, if you didn't have a king mattress, you could also see that they have different sizes, uh, twin, full, queen and king, and then different uh, thicknesses. You can choose between eight, 10 and 12 inches. But currently the king 12 inch is the one that's going to be on the deal stream. So if that's what you're looking for and that's what you're trying to get a deal on, definitely check it out. Now the next product that we have on our kale, so we're getting towards the end y'all. We're working through, we're chugging along. Um, it's going to be another Eufy security product that I absolutely love. Uh, this is the 2C cam. Now, uh, if you'll notice the carousel that the two products following each other are, are pretty similar, and it's because they are. One is just a three pack and one is a two pack, but they're the same cam and they also come with the home base. So about halfway through the video, I'm probably just gonna switch through the carousel to see the two pack. You just kinda get the, gotta get the one that, that is going to best fit your needs. If you have three vantage points that you really wanna use, Use, then uh, definitely get the the three pack but if two will suffice then you know get the one that's going to best reflect your needs. James here and today I'm gonna walk you through how to install the app and connect your app your cameras to the Eufy cam 2c home security system setup as you guys see I have the little uh, paper here you guys can see this that's just the box covering right I have one of the cameras here and that's on purpose and then we have the phone. First you open up the Play Store if you're using Android, pop over to apps, type in Eufy Security, the first one right here by Anchor, install it, and then we will open it. And since I already have it installed, we will just open it just like What's up, lover girl? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. How you doing today? Like that, right? Now, do you want to add on to Form Factor? I will add that on off camera. As you guys see, I do have one device and the, and the home. Now, another thing that's cool about Eufy security products is that this one comes with a home base and it's really cool because you can connect the different Eufy security devices together. Like I have a smart lock, I have a home base, I have a video security door and I have uh, cams just like he does. And you can use them all through the same interface from just one app. And I think that that is one of the best selling features of Eufy security devices. It's just absolutely fantastic and amazing. Now I'm gonna skip just a little bit. The setup is super straightforward, super easy. You just gotta follow the instructions so we're going to get right to where he starts viewing the actual uh, video from the app. We are, the we are now in the front door. If I hit mute, you don't hear the echo. But you can hear everything going on. It does have a microphone. If I hold speak, you know, it needs uh, the request permission. So we will say while using this app, hey, get out of my house. Hey, get out of my house. You guys should hear 
And what's really cool about a lot of Eufy security products uh, is that they feature that two-way audio. So not only can you hear the ambient sound going around wherever the camera is, but you can also speak into it. Like, I think it's so cool that for my video security doorbell, uh, if someone's at my door, I can just be like, get away from my home, you know, through it, through the app, and it will speak through the device. And I, it's just, it's one of those cool things that I love. In the background. So that works. We can clip it or we can start recording. We are now recording a clip of what we want. Or if we want to save, let's clip that, save a screenshot of the picture. We can do that also. Then we have like nighttime. Let's go over to night vision. You can turn on black and white night vision, spotlight night vision, or turn off. We're going to leave it as is. We can hit the alarm. Do we want the alarm or home base? We do not want the alarm whatsoever right now. So James does a really good job at showcasing all of the features from the app for this amazing camera. Like it's amazing because you get a really cool, you re get really good video quality from Eufy products uh, and Eufy security products are just absolutely fantastic. But you also get those cool features. Um, and like I said, what's amazing is that you can connect it to the home base. So like if, you, if it detects motion, you can have the home base make a sound. Or if you, you want to record, you have that option. If you want to take a screenshot, you have that option. If you want the two-way audio, you have that option. You just have so many different options from different Eufy products and it just makes them absolutely fantastic buys that most people, you know, would, would jump to have for it. It really does help upgrade your security game for your home and take it to the next level so that you don't have to worry about, um, you know, anything going around your house that you want to monitor. You have that peace of mind, both when you are at home and away from home. And it's just absolutely fantastic. Now, before I go on to the next product, I just want to say, well, first off, thank y'all for watching. I, I really do appreciate uh, you guys. You're a wonderful audience. We're fantastic. Absolutely. All of you. Um, and I don't, I just want to repost this. Make sure that you enter for a chance to win the Gigabyte GD G5 gaming laptop or $800 on PayPal by going to www.dragonblogger.com slash win gaming laptop. That's one word. W-I-N-G-A-M-I-N-G-L-A-P-T-O-P. Um, and also... Also, if you can hear the sound of my voice and you are watching but you are not following, go ahead and press that follow button. Stay up to date with all of our Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live streams and get the chance to win something. So this is our big dog giveaway, which lasts quite a while. So thousands of people have the chance to enter but uh, on a lot of streams that we have throughout the week we have giveaways for different amazon gift cards different amazon products that we showcase on stream so if you want a chance to win some of that make sure you hit the follow button and come check out some of our streams so that you can you know make sure that you see what we have to offer we're we're all we're a very wide diverse team of streamers um you have myself, James, Justin, Nate, Aster, and Deer. We are the regular streamers. So if you, um, you know, if you bless us with the follow, we will happily ingratiate you into our happy big dragon blogger family. Um, moving on, however, we have this really awesome charging pad that I got to do. Uh, the one that's featured in the carousel is pink, but mine is uh, black. And it's just, this is a product that I did. It's just an absolutely amazing, simple to use uh, wireless charging pad. So this is the UTEC wireless charging pad. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick unboxing to show you what's in it and then basically hook it up and let you guys know um, how fast it charges my phone. Currently my phone on the side right here is at 26%. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically uh, let you guys know how long it takes to charge it up a little bit between this and when I actually show you guys the product, but this is basically everything that comes with it, the charging pad and uh, the plug itself. It doesn't come with an adapter for it, so you will need to include an adapter um, or if you want to plug it straight into like your computer or laptop or something to use it. But I'm going to get a power block for it, plug it up and let you guys know about how fast it charges. So of course setup was a breeze. Um, all you have to do is literally plug it in and then plug it into the wall and it's good to go. Basically, uh, this is what it looks like. When you first plug it in, it'll flash a green light, and when you put the phone on top of it, it'll flash a green light again. Um, it's been about three or so minutes charging, and I'm already up to about 31%. So the charging works really fast. It's about 2% per minute, maybe a little bit more. Um, but as you can see, it's very friendly. 
um, for your for any phone. I have a case on mine, a small thin case, and it charges just fine. What's also really cool is it's got this nice rubber padding around the rim, so you hold your phone on there. So you have to worry about slip and sliding and crosswares. Some don't always have this. It also has rubber grip at the bottom too, so you don't have to worry about sliding it on the surface that you put it on. But yeah, if you're looking for a nice little wireless charging pad to use with your phone, definitely check out this Utec one. What's cool um, is that it, I, I love that little green light that it has as a like a little feature for it. Um, but one thing to keep in mind for this charger is that if you are using it with a case, after a while, there will generate some heat on that case. Um, and it generated quite a bit of heat after I left my phone on the charger. Uh, so just keep that in mind. But if you don't use a case, typically the heat is not that bad and it disperses super easily. So that's just the small thing that I wanted to remind you uh, to keep in mind for it. The second to last product that we have for today is going to be this Anchor Nebula projector. Nate is just always doing projectors. Uh, but here's one that he has. It's a really awesome um, portable Wi-Fi projector that has a, a stunning video quality and is absolutely fantastic. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this absolutely awesome, portable, and budget-friendly projector, the Nebula Apollo. Anchor has been around in the game for a long time, and they've recently set foot in the projector scene. And this projector here actually boasts a 300 ANSI lens that supports up to 1080p, which is absolutely awesome that you're getting a full HD lens right inside of this little unit. Taking a look at the unit right here, as you guys can see, it's super small and there's not much to it. You do have some on-body controls, but other than that, everything on this is just very simple and easy to use. So taking a look at the back side, you're going to notice here that you actually have your power input, USB input for a mouse or keyboard, and an HDMI input. So you can plug this up into your computer, your Xbox, whatever it is that you want. And then on the back as well, you're going to notice you have some controls. You're going to have a also, if you can hear the sound of my voice, it's time to drink some water, hydrate, or dihydrate, everyone. A power button and also a mode selector button on the back. And you might be asking yourself, well, how do you control this thing and choose your apps or choose your videos? And there's a couple of ways that you can actually do this. So the first way that you're going to be able to do this is this little awesome touch screen interface that's here on the front, which is not actually a screen, but it is a touch interface. And then the second is going to be the remote that they include in the remote has every single thing you need to fully access this, but you can also control it with a mouse or a keyboard, which is super cool. But that's not why you guys came here. You guys came here for a video test, so let's go ahead and let that play. Again, as I always try to lead off with a disclaimer of when we do products that include both video or and or audio, you're never going to get a true firsthand experience. So it's really important um, that you listen to what the Dragon Blogger has to say. Also, Ashley, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment family. We're happy to have you here. How are you doing today? Um, just an absolutely fantastic... Um, amazing projector to have a really cool projector i love the fact that it, it's mini and portable comes with the remote and uh you're able to basically uh, have four hours of playtime uh with the actual projector it can expand to a hundred inch screen has a very clear picture and wonderful home entertainment now uh it has it is a 7.0 or not 7.0, it has Android 7.1, sorry. So you can download and stream YouTube, Netflix, and more straight to Apollo without the need to connect additional devices because it does include that Android operating system in it. And that's just something that's super awesome. Also, Deshaun, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live show. We're happy to have you as a part of the family. How are you doing today? Um, but no, just absolutely wonderful, amazing Wi-Fi projector. And absolutely fantastic. Again, deal stream today. So you get a nice chunk of money off. Um, and it's just definitely going to be uh, worth it for you. Uh, before I move on to the next product, just going to go ahead and post this uh, link one more time. One more again. Uh, it's a chance for to win, sorry, a Gigabyte GD G5 gaming laptop. 
um, or $800 on PayPal. You simply go to www.dragonblogger.com slash win gaming laptop. The drawing will be at a future stream. Uh, but if you are not following, make sure you hit that follow button to stay up to date with all of our Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live shows and come by for a chance to do giveaways. We do giveaways all the time throughout the week. We have a Dragon Blogger typically streaming every weekday and on weekends also. So there's always a chance to come win by maybe like a $5 Amazon gift card, a $10 one. Sometimes we do 50. Sometimes we do uh, mystery boxes. Sometimes we do uh, giveaways of products that we're showcasing on stream. So make sure you follow so you can stay up to date. Uh, but it's always awesome. Uh, we love to give back to our community uh, who come by and support us. And it's always fantastic to get to meet new and wonderful faces. Also, Bubba Lee, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment family. Uh, but sadly, we have come to the end. This is going to be my last product for this afternoon show. This is going to be showcasing the EVGA uh, 3090. Uh, this is a, one of our old school Dragon Bloggers who's going to be covering this video. His name is Iggy. Um, and so this is going to be a really awesome uh, graphics card. Uh, and so we're going to do that and then we'll be out of here. And thank you so much, Lisa. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day also. Um, we're going to- I thank y'all everyone for being here through these, these all, all 40 of these products, you know. Uh, thank y'all for staying tuned. Go ahead and slide this section right into the PCIe slot. And make sure for a big card like this, you're sliding into your PCIe X16. It's typically going to be the first one that you see um, on the actual motherboard itself. But make sure, just to double check, that's going to be on a PCIe X16. And we'll just slide it in. And let me bring in so you can have a different angle. Okay, so then we're also going to be sliding these two in right back here. You'll notice two little holes in between. This is a really nice looking motherboard too. In these it's a Z390. Is that, that's an AM4 board, right? I don't know off the top of my head, but I think it is. Slot covers. And, and yeah, it's a, it's a big boy graphics car. Like this one's bigger than my 2080 Ti and it, it takes a lot of power too. The motherboard. And then we'll go ahead and just slide the card in. Okay. And you might've heard. I would be worried about such a big card hanging like this. I would have to have some kind of mount for it or like something else because the sag on that card is big. That sag has got to be the nuts. little click over. There. And it's also got, if you look, you guys can see it's got three, um, three eight pin power supply connectors. Woo. That's a big boy. That's on power. There, the retention mechanism, just locking the card in place. And now, we're going to go ahead and screw in the video card. Yeah, you can already see it's it's sagging a little bit. Now we're that's, going to go a, ahead. That is a big meaty card. And plug in the PCIe cables. Okay, so if you remember, I mentioned the clip is going to be on the bottom on NVIDIA cards. So we're just going to go ahead and just easily huge Deshaun, huge push that in. You'll hear a little click, that little clip just latching on. Let me bring you in on a different angle so you can see the other two. Now we'll just now remember for this, you're going to need at least a 750 watt power supply. I'd probably recommend a little bit higher. Sorry, it's kind of. Okay, so 750 watt power supply would probably work, but I personally would recommend something higher, like between 850 and 1250, um, just to make sure. Uh, because depending on what processor you're using, uh, you know, it, 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 it's going to draw a lot of power, especially if you're using it for gaming. Like I have a 2080 Ti and I have a Threadripper 2950X and I use a 1250 watt power supply because whenever it comes to my computer and it, uh, specifically my power supply, anytime I get a new power supply, I always future proof. So like when I first started off, I think my first power supply was a 750 watt.
try it. Then the next time I did a thousand. And then when I did this one, which is actually like my fifth power or my fifth build, I definitely went 1250 uh, just to have the future proof. And typically when you buy higher, higher wattage power supplies, you get a better and longer warranty. Like the warranty that I have for this one is a decade. And so I've only had this power supply for five years now so I, i'm about halfway through and yeah as james says go big and save yourself some hassle and peace of mind and make sure it's a, yep yep he is absolutely 100 right odd angle with the camera i have to plug in the hdmi cable normally i go through display port but because i have a capture card i'm going through hdmi don't worry that's normal <laughs> Having to explain that to people who don't know anything about computers, they're like, is it broken? Like, no, it's just, calm down. <laughs> he is really, really good at wire management. Like, I, I, I enjoy looking at his PC build. And... There are some people who don't know how to manage wires and their, their case be looking like trash. Monitor is turning on. Turning on my capture card. All right, so we're in Windows now and everything is going to look really fuzzy, really dirty. And that's okay, because we're using basic. Yep, he's got to, you got to make sure, and everyone who knows computers knows this, but you got to make sure when you install them, you update them graphic drivers. Let's see, he used to work for Alienware as their head builder and, oh, for real? I didn't know that about Iggy. This is the first video by Iggy I've ever had to do. Video drivers. That's awesome. Well, at least you know he's got the background. So go into File Manager, go into Downloads, and you'll find the drivers we just downloaded. Double click on that. Oh, see, he's smart. I know he's good with computers because he downloaded the driver rather than downloading the actual GeForce experience. <laughs> and click OK here, unless you want to change the path. You guys are doing it with me first. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, I always hate installing a new graphics card because the resolution just be funky on your computer and everything is all big and wonky. But when you get those uh, drivers installed, it always looks nice and fantastic. So in a second, while we're installing the driver, so this is a little bit. So, so yeah, you saw how everything was compressed at the beginning. Now that he has the actual uh, driver installed uh, for the thing, you know, he can customize the resolution to what he wants based on his monitor settings. Old version of uh, GPU-Z, but let's see. Now, it may not be up to date, but I assume it is. All right, so here we can see NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090. And well, we can see all the information, EVGA, and then GP for anyone who is just getting into computers, GPU Z and CPU Z are just absolutely fantastic for getting all sorts of analytics and stats about uh, the devices that you are connected to your motherboard. So keep that in mind. All the clock speeds, the driver version, the memory size, 24 gigs, and then everything is enabled down here. Since we only have one video card, we don't see two options down here. So. That is how you install the EVGA GeForce RTX 3090 FTW3 Ultra Gaming. So really quick and straightforward video. Iggy did an amazing job of showing you all the intricacies and all the steps for installing um, a GPU from inserting it into the PCIe X16 slot, plugging in uh, the three eight pin connectors, and then going ahead and showing you how to go into your Windows system, make sure you have it updated with the drivers for the for the GeForce drivers to use uh, the card to its fullest extent, and then basically go from there. A big boy purchase, yeah, I think it was, was it Darthwing that said it cost as much as a house? Yeah, it basically really does. It's, it, it's, a, it's a hefty boy experience. I can't wait to upgrade mine. My 2080 Ti has been holding me for a long time now, but at some point I'm probably gonna upgrade to something in the 40 series. It's just, I, I, I'm excited. Um, to see, uh, you know, where NVIDIA keeps going because they are the, 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 the fact of the tensor cores and ray tracing abilities in these nice AAA titles is looking so fantastic and realistic. I'm excited to see where NVIDIA continues to go after this 30 series, um, with their RTX models. So, uh, 
That is all I have for you guys today. Thank y'all so much for being such a wonderful audience and being here with me today. Y'all are all awesome. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Before I completely sign out, I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, and post uh, the link for the current giveaway. No, you can't get a house for 1500, but it's nice to make the joke, you know? Um, anyways, uh, enter for a chance to win a gigabyte GDG5 gaming laptop or $800 on PayPal by going to www.dragonblogger.com slash win gaming laptop, W-I-N-G-A-M-I-N-G-L-A-P-T-O-P uh, for a chance to, you know, win. Um, the drawing will be sometime in the future and make sure uh, you're here at stream uh, whenever the drawings, uh, you know, pulled. So you know if you're the, the lucky winner as soon as we draw the winner. But if you are not following, make sure you hit that follow button to join the dragon blogger tech and entertainment live show family uh where we do giveaways prizes all sorts of things and we have like i said an amazing diverse group of content creators uh from myself to james justin nate aster and dear uh we all have wonderful personalities and i like to think that we're all absolutely amazing and fantastic people uh so make sure that you guys um come through and see us and you know we're always happy to see you uh i'll catch you later too wiley thank you so much for being here um uh, but until next time peace out girl scouts and i will catch you all next time Bye bye